All right, and we are live. All right, guys. Well, let me, uh, <laughs> what's up? Yeah, I kind of feel like Wilson from Home Improvement, you know what I mean? <laughs> this big microphone sitting in front of me. Uh, oh, I forgot to change, uh, yeah, I forgot to change it to uh, let you guys know an hour ahead of time. Whoops, that was my bad. Okay, so let's see. Hey, what's up, Syndicate? How you doing, man? Look what I got behind me. <laughs> uh, where's that thing at? Holy crap, I'm not used to working on two monitors. I'll try to mute it uh, <laughs> whenever I cough. That way you guys don't have to listen to it. So yeah, uh, today's live stream is all about, you know, hey, what's your favorite helicopter that you like to fly? You know, everybody's uh, got a favorite most of the time. And uh, I'll let mine be known here in just a little bit. <laughs> the Goblin 380 box. <laughs> There's a little bit more than just a box. Uh, oh, oh, I need that. Hang on. So, yeah, uh, not that I really care, but, uh, yeah, I guess some people were kind of complaining about, uh, about the whole cigar smoking thing. So, go ahead and do it that way. But, yeah, uh, no, I'm just kind of, kind of curious, you know, what, what helicopters do you guys like to fly? You know, every single one of you guys should be able to, uh, post in the chat. And I do have the chat, you know, just, just to prove that I have the chat. I do have the chat. Let me uh, switch it over here. See, right there. I do have the chat. But for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to leave it on the no chat. And we're going to go through the first 10 minutes uh, without the chat on there and uh, get some people in here. And once we get, you know, a good number of people in here, then we're going to go ahead and uh, open up the chat to where everybody can see it. And yeah, we're just we're going to try this format and see how it works. You, Syndicate said he's thinking a lot uh, these days. He wants to get an aviation field. What do you mean, just like a, a field to fly at, a flying field? You know, I uh, I actually belong, or used to belong to a club. And, uh, you know, their field wasn't that big. You know, I keep watching Gina and that field she flies at. Now, that's a field. You know, some place is just huge and open. The field we flew at, uh, we got what's called the Lloyd Noble Center, which is kind of like a convention center. And it was uh, just right to the, what was it, the north of the field, which is right off the runway. And then on the other side, we had trees. So, and uh, in the Lloyd Noble Center, we had uh, light poles that we had to worry about. And, yeah, there's been a lot of people hit the light poles. Uh, a lot of people laying on top of the Lloyd Noble Center and yeah i mean it's just it's too small and then on the other side of the trees on the south side is uh a major highway there in norman so oh oh okay syndicate he goes no i mean to be a pilot hey not everybody you know not everybody was born speaking english right it ain't no worry you know we uh we had one member that he yeah communication error you know breakdown language barrier stuff like that and uh unfortunately we uh we lost him as a member on the site he just he didn't really i don't know he, he, yeah it's just <laughs> language barrier we'll just leave it at that uh hey troy what's going on i appreciate that good job at what i, I haven't really done much here lately and tomorrow at 8 a.m there's going to be a video it's a real quick video but it's a video uh, kind of explaining, you know, why I have not made any videos here lately. Uh, I've woken up every single day, jumped on this computer, the one I'm sitting on now, because as you can see, I don't have a banner behind me anymore. Uh, and uh, I've worked on a website. And whenever I get ready to go to bed, I'll grab my laptop. And my laptop's sitting on my lap in bed whenever I'm, you know, watching Netflix or movies or whatever. And uh, I'm still working on the website. So, yeah, I constantly work on the website. But, yeah, I, I do feel a lot like uh, Wilson on uh, Home Improvement. Let's see. Lock Rock, I didn't forget you. Uh, what is an XK380? 
Hmm. Let's see. Oh, you're talking about a quad. Come on. We're talking helicopters here. <laughs> the good thing is that being in here, I don't have to yell. You know, the microphone's like right here. Hey, Scott. Hey, Scott, I was actually uh, reading through the forum on some things. I don't know how I got there. But uh, I think you were building an Edge 540. Did you ever get that thing done? I know, off topic, you knew it was going to happen. Hey, Chicago. How late are you this time? We have been going for seven minutes. Seven. Seven. So you're not late. Syndicate, Nano CPS. He said he hates the uh, he hates the drifting issue. What in the world are my dogs barking at? Whatever it is, he's quite serious about it. I don't know if you guys can hear him. Probably. No, I'm not a quad hater. We're just trying to get back into uh, into helicopters. <laughs> Like I say, I think, you know, a new new little format that we're going to be doing is, uh, you know, letting the live stream go for, yeah, 10 minutes or whatever, and uh, then going ahead and putting the chat up. Uh, that way there's, you know, more people in there, and yeah, it's also going to come down to uh, here later on whenever I have, you know, actual topics, because like I said, I've been busy the last few weeks, and I haven't. You know, I've, I've been concentrating on the website, and I haven't come up with any any uh, topics. So uh, this one I just do it together. I'm I'm curious of what you guys fly. You know, so I just do it together. Let's see. Okay, Scott said, "Yeah, it's done. Uh, flew it a few times before it got cold. Excellent. I always love those gassers. You know, those little two-stroke gassers with the DLE engines. Ah." Uh, Syndicate, there he asked, uh, why shipping companies are scared to ship 12S batteries? Uh, is it going to explode? It's not that it's going to explode. It's the amount of energy that is contained within the battery if it does catch fire. Because once they catch fire, they keep going. So they, uh, they usually put an amp hour limit on, on batteries that are going to be shipped. Where'd my thing go? And we're back. All right, so let's see. Yeah, Lockrock says uh, he may be getting a big heli, and he's thinking a 500. Well, uh, that tail, that one right there, that's a 550. Which is basically a shortened 600 is all it is. Same same head, you know, it's got a 600 head, uh, 600 tail block. Uh, it's just uh, the head and tail blades are a little bit shorter and the tail boom's a little shorter. But everything else is interchangeable. But yeah, you guys post up. Tell me, uh, tell me what helicopters you like. A lot of you are, but a lot of you haven't. <laughs> like I say, uh, yeah, I, I completely... Uh, completely just didn't even do the live stream last week it was an absolute nightmare uh, i went out there and as you guys know been having network issues out there so i ordered a new router to uh, set up as a bridge and unfortunately for some reason it's being wicked slow and then the computer is the resources are wicked high and i can't figure out why so I just I completely canceled the one last week. I apologize, and then uh, this week we uh, I went ahead and decided to do it in here because this computer is connected directly uh, to my router, which is over in a room over there. So, uh, Syndicate, I have two thirty S, but when I give it max throttle, it spins. 
what caused the heli to spin when giving full throttle. If it stops spinning, uh, once it the head speed comes up, if it stops spinning, then it's just because there's not enough authority on the tail to hold it. Um, it's basically the torque of the main rotor that's spinning the uh, body of the helicopter. There's just there's not enough uh, pitch on the blades. There's not enough speed on the tail blades to keep that thing from uh, spinning around. Uh, Scott asked if I'd heard anything on the HD cell helicopters uh, that he pre-ordered the HD cell 502 and I haven't. I have not heard anything on that. Why is that doing that? Let me hang on just a second. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought the uh, I thought my cursor was being captured in uh, in the chat. So yeah, you know, this is just this is kind of a laid back chat is uh, is what this is or a live stream, I guess. You know, just we're here to have fun, and I guess I better go ahead and turn that down. <laughs> I do have a uh, serious question for you guys, uh, those of y'all that stick around towards the end. And uh, it's going to concern that guy right there, the uh, 380. So we'll save that for a little bit later. Let's see. Uh, what is the fix for it, Syndicate asks. Uh, don't raise the throttle as, as fast. You know, just ease it up. Um, be, with it being a blade and being a small helicopter, you know, it's it should have a soft start, but it eh, probably doesn't. So their soft start and my soft start are two different things. So, but yeah, just uh, spool it up slower, you know, and once you do get it spooled up, if it did move the tail, then just use the rudder and bring that tail back around to you. <clears throat> Let's see, Chicago, you know what, it's been over 10 minutes, so let's go ahead and just fade that over so that you guys can see all of it. And I'm starting with uh, that one right there, I think you guys can see that three dots flashing. So, look at Chicago trying to hijack the thread with quads. <laughs> Hey Troy, uh, yeah, I mean, it's my pleasure. I I enjoy making the videos, I really do. And uh, here lately, I just I flat haven't had time to get out to the studio and <laughs> make videos. So it's uh, it's unfortunate, but you know, I think what we're doing is uh, absolutely fantastic for the website. But yeah, Troy says he loves it. Uh, favorite hell is the Goblin Seven Hundred. Do you have a Goblin Seven Hundred, or uh, is that just your favorite helicopter? They do have an awesome sound. There's something about the goblins and the tail rotor. You know, the tail rotor's got a very specific sound. And, yeah, I gotta get a drink. Yeah, Mountain Dew this time. Let's see. Syndicate. Uh, did you happen to lose like the little rubber feet on the skids? Because that'll if you don't have any rubber feet on the skids, that'll also cause it to spin around. Uh, Scott, yeah, a lot of the new helicopters that are coming out are they are they're really good. So I don't see why that one would be any different. Uh, trying to get comfy. Now my shirt's trying to choke me. Brian, favorite heli, Thunder Tiger E700. Wow, you don't hear my, uh, much about those at all. Unfortunately, he's got that little RIP after it, and that's unfortunate. <laughs> I've had a couple of those. Dude, that's awesome, Troy. 570 and a 700. Yeah, Yuri's got a 570, and... Uh, Yuri's been uh, kind of busy here lately, so I don't think he's been on the chat. He may be listening right now. I don't know. I know Jacob's listening. Uh, Jacob's uh, on his way home from work. Sucker. 
Any of you guys play uh, vintage video games? Because I had one pop in my head uh, yesterday, and I had to hit Jacob up because you know me and him we grew up together. And I I had I asked him I said you know there was a a race with little hover cars on a track I thought it was an outer outer space but it's not it's like a elevated track I guess. And uh, I asked him what it was, and he just without a doubt he knew what it was, and it was the uh, Super NES game. Super Nintendo, which was F Zero. Yes, I downloaded it. Yes, I put it on my computer, and yes, I have played it. And yes, it is still awesome, even with the like what eight bit graphics. Yeah, Syndicate, if you got you know, if you think it's weird on what it's doing, yeah, by all means, you know, holler at Horizon and uh, see what they say. David, what's going on? New to helis, uh, only heli I've flown is the Galley Hurricane 425. That's a good heli. <laughs> so you guess that's your favorite. Why, I'm curious as to why you can't get parts. I mean, it, is it an old helicopter? If so, that's unfortunate. But that 470, yeah, that 470 just came out, so you shouldn't have any problem. Oh, yeah, Fireman, what's up, man? <laughs> Let's see, PlayStation 1 classic games, yeah, I had a PlayStation 1 uh, when they come out. I've only got a PlayStation 3 now, I kind of got out of console gaming, and yeah, I just, I never had a need to uh, upgrade to PlayStation 4. Brandon, what's going on man, what are you eating? I'm fixing to eat some roast, with some carrots, and some onions, and some taters, mmm, -hmm. <clears throat> All right, let's make sure this thing's turned on. We're at a hundred percent battery. Yeah, I actually put new batteries in this thing finally, and uh, yeah, sixty-five watts. Awesome. Mister Tungsten, what's up, man? How's your eye? That sucks, dude. You know, I every time every time I see you pop up on there, all I can think about is you know. Slag in the eye. It, uh -huh. <laughs> Tony, what should I get? A 270 CFX or a 360 CFX? Uh, which one will teach me more about collective pitch helicopters? Uh, I don't know, because I don't know. I'm pretty sure both of those come with the uh, BX, Beast X gyros. You know, uh, you've got that Goblin 380. Hell, set that thing up. Fly the 380. You know, don't be, I'm, I'm pretty sure you got the uh, Lynx skids, which you included on this kit here. Uh, don't be afraid to put training gear on that Goblin 380. You know, people put training gear on Align 450s. They put training gear on uh, Align 600s. So, yeah, why not put, uh, put training gear on the uh, Goblin 380? If you have to come down in a hurry, it'll keep you from tipping over, and uh, it'll save your blades and main shaft and feathering shaft and tail boom. Them tail booms are expensive on them goblins. Holy cow. So, Tungsten, what have you been up to, man? But, yeah, anybody that's new in here, uh, we're going to have a discussion about this goblin here, uh, here in a little bit. Where's Gina? Gina needs to be on here. Let's see. Let me go down here. She's probably out flying with some night blades or something. <laughs> Burger, fries, and a milkshake. Damn, that sounds good. Mm, mm -mm. But yeah, I mean, if if I was to choose those two, uh, I would I would probably go with the uh, 360 Syndicate and. Uh, you know what? Because Syndicate dropped an F-bomb right there. We're going to get rid of the chat for a little bit. So y'all keep posting. <laughs> We're trying to keep his family friendly. Uh, but yeah. Don't take offense to this Syndicate. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, you know, 
can't moderate everything, but uh, we do try to keep uh, keep this family friendly. Just, you know, work safe. Make sure, you know, if there's kids around, make sure they don't, you know, they don't see any of it and then repeat it. And then say, oh, well, I did that because, you know, I read it or I heard it on uh, on RC Help. That would, yeah, that wouldn't be bueno. Oh, Robert Clark, Blade 230 is a good trainer. Comes with safe mode. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, it does come with safe mode. Uh, Scott, what flybarless system uh, you should go with? Are you not liking the Skookum? Because I really like that Skookum. I know uh, there's another member on the forum, uh, Dennis, I think, that he's got the, I think you went to the uh, Futaba 14 SG or something like that. Uh, but he just went with, I believe it's the V-Bar, I think. I can't remember. I, I couldn't answer any of his questions, so I just kind of skimmed through that thread. Uh, but he's having mass problems uh, with the gyro that he's using. So, Syndicate safe mode uh, basically means it'll it'll self-hover. Oh, you don't? Wow, really? Huh. What, uh, if I may, what, what about it don't you like, you know? I know when I was flying, you know, it did seem a little twitchy. Uh, it did seem like it was, the settings were for more advanced users that were doing 3D and needed, you know, fast response times and uh, stuff like that. Syndicate, yes, it's kind of like a panic button. Uh, it'll self-write itself and uh, hold itself upright. You know, so if you get in trouble, you just, you hit that switch and it'll self-write, which uh, the BX will do, but you got to spend like a hundred bucks to get that, uh, that feature. And uh, the icons, all the icons have it. And speaking of icons, that icon too, man, I'm having so many problems with that. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Scott just answered with, well. <clears throat> has panic, bu panic button, three flight modes, beginner sport in 3D. So that's that's perfect. You know, if you're just learning how to fly, yeah, with uh, what Robert's saying right there, put it in beginner mode, and it'll only uh, allow you to have so much tilt on the helicopter and uh, teach you control, and then you put it in uh, sport mode, get a little bit more control, and then you got 3D, which, yeah, that's just like any other collective pitch. But yeah, Scott, the, uh, it did seem like that uh, Skugum was a little bit twitchy to me. And uh, I think I'd mentioned something about, you know, make sure you put some uh, dual rate and expo uh, in the radio to try to tame that thing down. Um, I didn't, all the settings in the uh, configurator were, I don't know, it's it's a new gyro. So, I mean, it was just, it was weird. <laughs> uh, syndicate bank angle limit is called just that, uh, just a bank angle limit. I don't know what it's called in there. Yeah, I guess you could call it beginner mode. Um, But yeah, I kept talking, I've been talking to Gina uh, here a while. If you guys were here last Sunday, you know, we had our very first simulator Sunday and we're going to have another one this Sunday. So uh, I've been talking to her and, wow, that was late tungsten. Uh, I've been talking to her and she's kind of almost pushing me to want to get the, uh, mm, that guy, the 600 Nitro back in the air. I've seen her uh, flying the NX-7 Gowie. Let's see, tungsten, eyes okay, fantastic. Keeping busy, uh, gun shopping with my tax refund. Uh, just bought a CZ2075, Tammy and 40 Smith & Wesson. My favorite heli to fly was my old 90 size XL. You don't hear much about them either. Anybody like the Master CP? Ah. Uh, I'm not, I, I never could get into the Walkira helicopters, you know, I thought about having one sent to me, uh, which is about a, I guess you could call it a 3 to 350 size, I'm not exactly sure what size it is, and uh, I ended up changing my mind. CGY 750, I haven't even heard of that one. 
you know, I've been so focused on uh, Beast X and Icon and obviously the uh, 3GX and the, uh, uh, what's the other one? Is the MSR, the MRS, G Pro. Been trying to focus on those because that seems like what everybody has, unfortunately, with the uh, G Pro and 3GX, MRS, MSR, all them. And that's MSR Gyro. Good evening, Jacob. I was already talking crap about you, bro. <laughs> oh, it's a Futaba Gyro. Yeah, Futaba, I mean, that's that's one reason why I never really got into working with Futaba. Uh, I was going to buy a Futaba radio back when I was racing, and I just, I couldn't do it. You know, it, they, they were expensive, and I just, I didn't like the feel of them in my hand. I ended up going with the uh, Airtronics M8, and I loved that one. It was, it looked like a bulky radio, but it wasn't that heavy. Keyboard battery died. Had to put in new ones, and I typed slow. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I just got done cleaning out my keyboard, and uh, first time I cleaned this keyboard in like 15 years, yeah, yeah it was that bad. Uh, it has some buttons sticking and stuff like that, but uh, I took all the keys off, cleaned every single key by hand, and uh, washed everything. Took, I mean, I took it completely apart, uh, took the uh, membrane out of it, washed it, and put it back together, but whenever I put it back together, That's pretty much the only grease <laughs> that I could find. <laughs> so, yeah, I use some heavyweight, uh, high temp grease on the keys, and it has significantly slowed my typing because the keys don't respond back as fast as they should. And yeah, I mean, if I would have had, you know, uh, silicone uh, type uh, grease or whatever, I would have used that. <clears throat> Six hundred dollars on reload supplies, man. What are you reloading? Thirty out six, thirty thirty, seven hundred. David been thinking of trying the three digi. See, I don't have any experience with that one either. I had one. Uh, there was a comment on one of the videos when I woke up this morning. And he's like, you need to be doing the videos on all the latest and greatest. You know, if it comes out, get it and do reviews on it. And I'll tell you what, guys, I would absolutely love to do that. Uh, but RC help is, it, it doesn't make any money, you know. And so uh, any money that I do get in for RC help, it goes back into RC help, you know, server fees and all that. And if I do start making money with RC help, then you better bet we're going to be getting the latest and greatest. But need all you guys every single one of you guys watching to come over to the forum start browsing start posting and uh get that thing to pick up and we will most definitely start doing all of these uh all these new new videos on the new products uh let's see syndicate what is a good two blade heli or three blade heli does three blade heli more responsive a three-blade helicopter is going to have more disc loading. Uh, theoretically, it has more uh, more lift. I would just stick with the two-blade helicopter because they're more efficient. Or, well, so testing has showed. Something that small, I'm not sure it really matters all that much. Let's see. Hey, Patrick. How am I doing today? I'm tired. Very tired. Uh, when was it? It wasn't yesterday. Day before yesterday, my brother-in-law comes down. And, uh, yeah, it's story time. <clears throat> but my brother-in-law comes down. We've had his motorcycle here. I think I mentioned that in one of the live streams. Uh, had his motorcycle here, and the clutch was completely gone out of this bike. And he had never replaced a clutch in a bike, especially a wet clutch. So I told him bring it down here. We tear it apart and uh, find out exactly what he needs, and he can go ahead and go order it. And we tore it apart, and it sat in my garage for a while. He said he had all the parts, and he's going to come down. Well, he ended up coming down kind of late, and uh, we were sitting there just BSing at the kitchen table. And I told him that I wanted to compare 
the old clutch pack to the new clutch pack. And he slammed his hand on the table. He's like, man. He goes, I left it at my house. I was like, oh, that's fine, you know. Just whatever. We can measure it and then measure yours. He goes, no, that's not the problem. Is <laughs> The pressure plate is at my house, too. <laughs> he ordered uh, the new whatever piece, that piece is called that's on the inside that the steels uh, grab onto. And he ordered uh, new clutches and steels, but he didn't order a new pressure plate. So that pressure plate was with them there at his house. So he called his wife to uh, have her come out and bring it. I guess she was tired too. And we had to wait for my wife to get off work, of course, after a beer run. Uh, and my wife uh, grabbed my brother-in-law and took her uh, took him out there to get that clutch piece. And she wasn't in the town she thought she was in. Uh, my sister-in-law so they had to find her in a town about 15 miles away asleep in the car because she she got so tired that she couldn't she couldn't go anymore and i respect that you know if you can if you're too tired to drive don't drive but it was they left at like 11 45 at 1 15 i called and i'm like where are you guys at because they were only supposed to be you know what 25 30 minutes away 25 30 miles or something like that and so I called her uh, about an hour and a half later, and I said, where are you guys at? And they ended up having to, he drove his wife back to their house and then had my wife, uh, his sister, bring him back here to the house. We didn't get done working on that motorcycle until about 7, 7.30 that morning, that next morning. And I got to bed probably around 9, woke up at 11, and that was a long day. And then last night, couldn't sleep worth the crap. So, yeah, a little groggy. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm lost. 308 and 9 millimeter. Why you got a 308? That's a little, both of them are little cap guns. You need a 45. Do a lot of shooting with my rifle. Oh, yeah. 308. Good lord. See, I am tired. I can fuse 308 with 38. Perfect load for it. Uh, when I reload my 9mm ammo, it is only HP stuff. Right on. I don't reload mine. I just buy new, which is why I haven't bought any new rounds in a long time. That stuff's gotten expensive, guys. Let's see. Troy has a question for me. What do I think about the CC3D? Have one lying around. Wanted to use it in a quad. Um, uh, the only real problem that I have with the CC3D is what's going to happen to Libra Pilot. You know, after Open Pilot, after that whole debacle, what's going to happen to Libra Pilot? Hopefully, it's not the same thing. Hopefully, they keep going. But I mean, the CC3D it's a capable uh, flight controller. They're actually newer than uh, the Nays uh, Nays brand flight controllers. Nays has been out for a really long time. So, yeah, you know, by all means, fire up a, a Lieber pilot and tune that sucker up. And then come over to the forum and post a video. I want to see it. Uh, In-laws got to love them. I know, right? <laughs> but no, you know, uh, he he had never worked on a bike. So, you know, I was more than happy to help him. You know, got his bike going. I told him. I told him straight up whenever we were uh, torquing everything back back to spec, you know, putting the cover on the engine and everything. I told him, I said, you're going to kill it. He goes, no, I'm not. He goes, I'm better with a clutch than that. I said, no, you're going to kill it. <laughs> From my garage to his trailer so that he could trailer at home, uh, I think he killed it about six times because that clutch was so grabby. And basically what had happened was the previous owner never adjusted the clutch on that motorcycle. And if you don't adjust the clutch, then it starts to release the clutch. As the clutch is wear, it can only go in so far, and then the uh, clutch cable stops it, and it just keeps wearing, then eventually starts slipping. Everything had that blue tinge where it had gotten extremely hot. So we should have probably replaced that pressure plate, but eh, we didn't. <clears throat> but yeah, no, I was more than happy to help him out uh, in learning how to work on a bike. Because I love, you know, it's a crotch rocket. I love crotch rockets. And, uh, yeah, I I need to get me another one. 
I really do. I want my old bike back, but I don't think I'll, uh, I don't think I'll ever <laughs> get my bike back. I miss that thing. Uh... Helly Yaw says, regarding the three versus two blade cyclic Christmas crispness at the cost of battery life. Right, and that, that right there goes down to uh, to efficiency. You know, uh, they're less efficient. You have more blades, which is going to be more torque. Uh, you're, you should probably upgrade to a three blade tail. But, I mean, even if you don't, it should hold it unless you're just doing, you know, something crazy with it. Uh, crazy three or whatever. <clears throat> How funny. <laughs> That's what I'm doing now. I'm putting them in my daughter's RM85 dirt bike. Yeah. Wait a minute. Doesn't, doesn't the RM, aren't those dry clutches? I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember at all. Syndicate says, Tony, build the goblin. All right. So I told you guys we were going to talk about this. And we are so let's uh, let's get into the Goblin. We have uh, quite a few people on here right now. Uh, the Goblin 380 uses the exact same size electronics as far as servos go as the Align 450s. Well, here is what's left of uh, of my poor Align SEV2. Yeah, it started its life out as the HK450 GT, and uh, they're not supposed to flex like this, by the way. Uh, I was out flying. This is actually the last uh, last time I flew a 450 and actually flew it. Uh, whenever I flew the 450 Pro, it just it didn't feel right. Um, but I took it out, and I wanted to try some uh, some new stuff, and I just I did it too too close to the ground, and then ended up uh, powering it in. Uh, but the cyclic servos and the tail servo will fit the Goblin 380. Now, that has Emacs ES09MD uh, servos, which are not very powerful, not very fast. You know, they're like a 0 .1 uh, 60 degree second uh, speed. And then the uh, the actual amount of force that they can put is not much, but... Here's the thing. I don't do 3D flying. You know, I tried it, and, well, yeah, you saw that 450. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I was trying something new, and it didn't, it just flat didn't work. Um, <clears throat> yeah, or she's, yeah, I caught myself. <laughs> uh, but the uh, cyclic servos will work. The problem with the cyclic servos is they have holes in the center, and they're just slightly too narrow. So we can, you know, I can use those servos and uh, we can put them on the Goblin and it'll get it in the air. And then uh, thanks to Dog, which I haven't seen on here. Where are you at, Dog? I figure you'd be one of the first ones on here. Um, <laughs> Syndicate says, ask, uh, ask anyone on chat to donate parts besides fly barless system. I don't know. They may need to uh, donate the fly barless system too because me and that icon are not getting along. <clears throat> that icon too. It, uh, let me do a check real quick. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, everything, everything looks good. Okay. Uh, the icon too, it's... Uh, I plugged it in and it's on video. In fact, you guys, I think you know, you guys haven't seen that one yet. I plugged it in it asked me to update the uh, firmware because it was out of date go figure so i said yeah go ahead and uh, went ahead and updated it and then i went through and tried to get the uh, satellite to bind and put the bind plug in nothing so i went into the program selected my receiver clicked that little uh, bind box down there underneath the uh, receiver selection and it went into bind i bound it up fine everything's done pulled out the bind plug and uh, power cycled the unit when i plugged it in it come back up with that message that says you need to update your gyro it's out of date i was like what in the world and i started reading some more and instead of being i think i was on the icon 2 dot like 2 dot 0 0 dot 0 0 6 or something so i was on the 2 series now it was on brain like 1.0.6 brain 1.0.6 
not even an icon. I've never installed Brain on this. I haven't installed anything on it except that first update. And it reverted back to a Brain firmware. So I updated it again and went through the whole issue of the uh, satellite receiver. And finally I was like, you know what, enough. And yeah, then I started working on the uh, working on the website and haven't been back out there. Let's see. Um, David Gallagher, what kind of, or Gallagher, I used, I used to work for a guy uh, named David Gallagher. Uh, what kind of bike? If you're asking me, uh, my first crotch rocket was a 2004 uh, Yamaha R6. That was actually my very first motorcycle. I know, not the, uh, not the best thing to learn how to ride bikes on. <laughs> Have I ever flown a tricopter? Uh, what board will be good? Will be a good one. I think just about any board that you can get your hands on will do a tricopter. You know, you just you got to make sure that it can handle a uh, tail servo because you do have to have a uh, servo to uh, pitch that that rear rear prop. Let's see more stuff to buy when you crash. Well, yeah. Let's see. Did I get the crash on camera? I did not because I just I went out there and uh I just I wanted to, you know, fly. Just without a camera, without all the rick and roll that goes into recording a flight and all that. And I just wanted to fly and I wanted to try something new and I should have put a camera on my hat. <laughs> That's the way it always goes, isn't it? And I even tell my members, record every flight. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah, I just saw that box down there go yellow. Why'd you go yellow? Yeah, it's kind of flickering. It's mainly in the green, but it's kind of flickering. Why are you doing that? How weird. Yeah, uh, OBS just updated to 18, uh, version 18. So, yeah. Uh, what? Let's see. What do you think about those magnetic induction servos they came out with a while back? Do you like them? Do they draw more current? Or are they more snappy? I have no clue. Uh, I've never tried a magnetic induction. Um, so, I mean, I, I can't really respond on that. You know, if anybody uh, that's watching this, if anybody knows about the magnetic induction and what the uh, benefits are of them uh, and the cons, Post up in the chat, and uh, RC flight seekers want to know. I've never, I've never played with them. Uh, Tony, what is inside the torque tube? I didn't see what's inside when I took the boom off. Two thirty. Uh, I only saw wires. If the two thirty is a shaft drive, which I think it is, uh, there's just a shaft, and it's got gears on either end. You know, it, gears will, it'll look like a thick piece of piano wire pretty much i knew that was going to come up <laughs> what is my favorite helicopter to fly it has been so long that i don't know i really if i had to choose from the helicopters that i have it probably used to be this one because and i mean that's a that's an old helicopter it's still got the fly bar head on it and everything you know, you I could just I could throw it around. I could have fun with it and not care. You know, the Align uh, 450 Pro that I have that I now have a Dominator chassis on or Dominator frame on. Um, I never wanted to crash that one because that one is more expensive than the SCV2 to crash until that crash. That crash pretty much did it in. Uh, frames broke and every gear stripped and yeah, it was uh, bad times. Uh, but yeah, I mean that, that SCV2 is probably my favorite. The uh, the 600 nitro is probably my second favorite and i know that's contradicting because i never fly the 600 and for anybody that's watching that doesn't know uh that tail right there is the uh, tail of the 600 the one sitting next to it right there is the 550. uh the reason i don't fly that 600 because it gives me such a massive headache but i mean the smell that you get from the nitro the sound uh, just, I mean, everything about a nitro helicopter, I love. I absolutely love it. Unfortunately, I just, I can't fly it because it gives me such a massive headache. 
And I mean, that's the reason why I had to quit racing nitro uh, RC cars. And I, I had to quit pitting for people that ran nitro RC cars because I used to pit for my buddy Mac. And I just, I couldn't do it anymore because even on cars, that nitro, the nitro fumes just, yeah, they killed me. Show you the nitro. Let's see. Uh, Patrick, fly barless, without a doubt, fly barless. Uh, setup is a lot easier. But once you get a fly bar head set up, they're just, they're predictable. You know, you know exactly what they're going to do. I did have a problem with the old head on the SCV2 uh, before Rodney, thank you Rodney, uh, donated that online head to me. I had a problem with those fly bar paddles turning whenever you were doing flips or rolls or something and you were at 100% on your uh, cyclic. So, you've never seen the 600? I've got videos of it everywhere. I don't want to get it down right now. It, yeah. It's happy. It's asleep. <laughs> Fine. Hang on. <clears throat> She's a little dusty. <laughs> There you go. That's her. This is Murphy. Because if it can go wrong, it's going to go wrong on this one. <laughs> That's just, it's guaranteed. Uh, make it sleep. No, it didn't make it sleep. It was asleep. It was having a nice peaceful rest. Can't you tell by all the dust on it? It's been resting for a while. I do need to get it back out. I need to fly it. And, uh, yeah, there we go. We'll just set Murphy right there so you guys can admire it because it actually looks good in the camera right there. When I look at it, it don't look so good. My cat just run under my chair. <laughs> Love it, huh? Yeah, uh, I've got a few, few videos of it. Um, it's a good helicopter, you know, that helicopter right there, the T-Rex 600, was built by the members of RC Help, and it is just, 600N is awesome with a 55, I have the OS 55 HZ Tech H engine in that helicopter, and yes, it is, it's fantastic, um, I do have an OS boost pipe, but I like that pipe better. Uh, this pipe seems to give it a little bit more bottom end, uh, keep the head from, uh, keeps the head spooled up, uh, gives you more torque. Uh, the OS boost pipe, it gives you a lot of top end power, and I don't fly top end power, so, um, yeah, but yeah, I mean, I, I need to get that 600 back up. Uh, that is a... Hang on, I gotta figure out who makes this uh, canopy. I got it from NexRC. Yeah, it's a uh, X canopy. Canopy. Gotta make sure it doesn't fall. <laughs> I haven't crashed it. Don't want to. But it severely pains me that I can't fly that helicopter. I, I thought that I could because it's in the air and it wouldn't affect me as much uh, with the nitro. And it turned out, it's just, I mean, it, it's like migraine type headaches that I get from that thing. Um, what helicopter fuel do I use? I can't even remember the name of it. It's got a big V. It might be VP. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's VP. Uh, 30%. Um, but yeah, uh, you can get that canopy uh, at NexRC. You know, that, well, at least they used to have them. Uh, we did a, a lot of videos for NexRC, and in fact, I still promote NexRC because Kevin over there is a great guy. And if you have a problem with anything, you know, you can you can get it solved uh, through Kevin or any of his associates. So, NexRC. Let's see. I'll just type it in. My keyboard kept sliding up under. Dang it. There you go. NexRC.com. But yeah, that's where I got it. In fact, that's where I got all my canopies. Hang on. 
I'm about to run over my cat. Holy crap. <laughs> Dropping canopies. All right. This one actually came from uh, Hobby King, and I got it a long time ago. Uh, I think that's the one I put on the 450 Pro that Derek now has. And then, yeah, you've got the, and these are all X canopy canopies. Uh, you've got the orange one, which is really, really nice. Silver. This is good if you just want to have it sitting on the shelf because you can get this lost in trees. Ask me how I know. This one is a really cool canopy. Sounds like there's something inside that one. And then you've got this one here. Which isn't bad. And then all them ones that I just dropped. Which this one is for the uh, MCPX. And I believe, yeah, this one's for the MCPX as well. Uh, but I also have canopies for the Align 150. I have another 450 canopy. And then, of course, the 600 right there. And I think I got some MSR canopies. And I think you sent me a 130X canopy. So, yeah. Uh, the syndicate, I mean, it's, it's all about just painting. You know, if, if you're good with an airbrush, you can make these. A lot of it is taped lines, you know, like uh, all these lines here, those are all taped and then just sprayed. But like here, you've got the faded black and then you've got all this orange just kind of faded down into the yellow and uh, the darker green on top of the yellowish type fluorescent green. You know, those are all fade jobs that you do with an airbrush. And, you know, practice makes perfect. I was actually getting pretty good with the uh, airbrush and I basically quit painting uh, I do have plans on uh, kind of showing you guys how to uh, paint a body because I do have a clear body and I may hit up Kevin again and see if I can get just a plain white canopy and uh, I may show you guys how to uh, how to paint helicopter canopies because I mean it's really fun because you can paint something that nobody else has or see let's see old college cure for the headache is a tall glass of water ahead of time with two extra strength goodie powders. And da -da -da -da. yeah, uh huh. <laughs> uh, what's my thoughts about the KS6 uh, Chaos 600 Pro by RC Aerodyne? Uh, I mean, it's oh crap, I just popped off one of my shock mounts. It's still a clone of an Align helicopter. Um, I do suggest going ahead and getting Align, but the Chaos brand seems to be a little bit better than the uh, the HK, the Hobby King brand. Mildly. Awesome paint. Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, fan every single one of these, and I have a hard time. There's a letter on here on the 600. Every single one of these canopies has a flaw in it somewhere, and that's why he was able to send me so many. Because he couldn't, he won't sell them with flaws. He absolutely will not. And I told him, I said, I don't care about flaws. You know, people don't see flaws at 20 feet. People don't see flaws whenever it's on video. And uh, I told him I would go ahead and uh, promote his uh, canopies. And he sent me a whole bunch of them. This one right here, I think it's on the other side. Uh, but one of the letters where it says T-Rex 600, one of the letters is actually cracked. And you can see that one pretty good. Whereas on these other ones, I'm, I have a hard time finding the issue on these things. You know, maybe somebody squeezed it and there might be like a crack. Yep, that's what it is on this one. There's a little crack in the paint right down there on this very bottom piece where it always cracks. So, you know, very minor stuff. He may be selling them now. I don't know. Yes, uh, Patrick, they are fiberglass. <clears throat> Uh, I don't think he has, uh, like, the boom covers and stuff like that. Uh, I think all he has is just standard canopies. 
You ain't supposed to step on them. They don't take crashes that well either. <laughs> In fact, uh, you guys can't see it, but yeah, the canopy that was on that 450 SEV2 is up there. So, uh, getting back to the Goblin guys. Uh, like I said, I can take and I can use these servos uh, that's on the 450 SCV2 and put them on a Goblin. And Dog, uh, like I said, I'm surprised Dog's not in here. But uh, Dog is sending me an 80 amp uh, YEP, Y-E-P, uh, E-S-C, which is a Y-G-E clone. I haven't had very good luck with the YEP ESCs. I had the uh, 45 that I put on a 450 Pro clone. It was uh, actually... If you watch the How to Build a Clone Properly video, uh, that's the ESC that I had in there. And I just, I didn't like it. You know, it, something, it just felt wrong. But that was one of the early yips. And I think this 80 is like a version 3, I think. I don't know. Uh, but it's newer. So I figured I'd give it a shot. You know, he's donating it for the Goblin. And that's where it's going to go. So what I need now is, I need motors. Or motor. Well, I ain't putting two motors on that thing. Uh, but I need a motor and I need batteries and with a motor and a battery I can get that helicopter in the air without the motor and the battery Well, that's going to be probably about another hundred bucks and that's going cheap uh, That's going with the ALZRC uh, motor and uh, I think I can get a 6S30C No, I can get a 6S35C pack for that helicopter for 35 bucks something like that uh, I actually might be able to get that one. Uh, just have one of my vendors send it to me. But he won't send me the motor. Little fool. <laughs> so if any of you guys have, you know, servos that fit like a 450 uh, helicopter, uh, head or tail. You know, the tail servo I'm not worried about. That one's a DS520 Align. Uh, I'm not worried about that one. It is a little bit old, and they do like to have the pots go out on them every now and then. Uh, kind of like on my other 450, uh, the pot started uh, getting dirty and the tail would just stop working in the air. And you're like, oh crap, you know, when's it going to come back? Uh, so Yuri, uh, one of my moderators, he sent it to me. Uh, sent me a Savix tail servo, which is just like the 520. I mean, it's pretty much rebranding. And uh, yeah, I've got it on there and I have yet to fly it. So uh, I keep swapping fly barless units. And I'm thinking about putting 3GX back in it. Let's see how many people start posting on that one. I'm going to put the 3GX back in the 450. Yeah, buddy. I'm actually thinking about putting the Pro Frame back on it, putting the 3GX in it, and doing a lot more testing. There are people coming out of the woodwork with 3GX gyros now. It is like, wow, they're making a huge comeback, and I don't know why. Tony, just fly the Nitro. It'll be awesome. Well, here's a problem with that, Syndicate. Uh, I don't have the room to fly the 600. You know, I can fly the 450s, and I still run out of room. Uh, but yeah, there's just there's not a lot of room for that 600. <clears throat> Let's see. <laughs> I love it, hell y'all. You know, he throws a new canopy on the floor and count that as a first crash. <laughs> that way, the hell he doesn't go in right away. <laughs> oh yeah i mean the chances yeah if you have a brand new canopy on a helicopter the chances of going in have been increased exponentially yeah so i, I completely get what he's saying yeah buddy the goblin has savic servos send them to me send them to me come on you know you want to subliminal messages uh what size servos uh i actually don't know the dimensions on it but the cyclic servos are like the ds uh 410s uh ds 410 ds 415s and then the tail servo is like the ds uh 520 or the 525 and both of those are aligned by the way the 410 or 5 uh 410 or 520 is what i need let's see is Savix good servos? They can be. You know, they have low end and they have high end, just uh, like just about anything else. Uh, but overall, uh, Savix is a really good servo. Yes, RC Flight Seeker. I, uh, I do need servers. If you have servers, I will take them. Dell 2950 at the lowest. <laughs> I do actually need to set up a couple servers here at my house. Um, but yes, I do need servos. Um, 
Oh, we were up to like, I think, 20 here not too long ago. We're still not getting very many people watching these live streams, and I quite honestly don't blame them. Uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to get more interaction on here, get more people in and watching it. I did the math, and it's like point zero. It's less than 0.01% of our subscribers that are uh, are watching these live streams. Uh, yes, yes, 9 gram servos, uh, I guess you could call it, and... You know, like I said, you know, this is a 450 SEV2 and any 450, uh, 450 Pro, 450 Dominator, you know, those are all 9 gram servos like the uh, 410s. But yeah, I, I definitely need, I kind of, I hid the uh, Goblin box behind the 600. Oh, the 600, he just likes to get in the way. But yes, uh, the Emacs ES09MD servos, they're not bad servos uh for what they are you know they're like eight bucks a piece so you can't really beat that and they work fantastic they were absolutely awesome on that helicopter until i put it in and i broke one of the servo arms which guess what it only came with one of the thick servo arms the other ones are really thin and i do not want that um tony is nitro fuel petroleum based yes uh or is it a chemical compound no it's uh it's petroleum based you know it's uh methanol which is alcohol and uh, nitromethane the uh, percentage that you see on a can is going to be your nitromethane and then you're going to see something like 22 percent oil which is usually a, a uh, synthetic castor oil and you're right it is expensive you know the stuff that i used to run is about 30 bucks a gallon and this stuff here that i'm running now thanks to gaba he uh he found it for 20 bucks a gallon and that is that's a steal and the only way you can really get it any cheaper than that is to buy, you know, multiple cases at a time. Six gallons per case. So, yeah. Pull out your credit card. But yes, I need servos. Uh, I need uh, I need a motor. And it has to be a motor for the Goblin 380 because it's got a 5mm shaft. Uh, 450 motors will not fit. Done track. Um, and I need... may need a, a new gyro if that icon keeps messing up but yeah like i said the yuppie sc should be on its way uh so really motor and battery right now at the bare minimum you know because i've got these serve i just i really don't want to put those emacs servos on this thing i don't mind putting a 520 on the tail but i really do not want to put those uh, es09 md emacs servos in that goblin that just it just don't set right you know what i mean Let's see, may have several servos hit me up with an address, and I will try to find the control arms. Awesome. Uh, are you on the website? If so, send me a PM, because if you don't send me a PM, I'm going to forget, because I can't do it right now, and I will forget by the time I get to the, to the website. So, and if you're not on there, my username is, well, Tony. Um, but yes, most definitely, that is awesome. Oh, and also, anybody that donates to this helicopter, and Syndicate is going to be at the very top of that list because he, well, donated the helicopter. Uh, I am going to make up some stenciling, and we are going to put everybody's name on the canopy. I've been meaning to do that on the 600, and, <laughs> just, yeah, never got around to it. I mean, look at that canopy. Where am I going to put names on that thing? Because we got like 13 people that uh, chipped in on the 600. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I guess that is true, David. Um, I just, I don't know, it's kind of a, it's almost kind of like a respect thing, you know. I just, I don't post on there to try to promote my own stuff. Um, but I can't, hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, I can't stop anybody else from posting on there. <laughs> Let's see. Well, because even though they produce the oil, they don't manufacture the fuel. And a lot of times, uh, the manufacturing is done quite a ways away. You know, everything that we get from the Middle East, and we do still get quite a bit of oil uh, from the Middle East, it's just that. It's crude oil. 
you know, we don't get refined products because every country is going to have a different standard on what their fuel has to be. So, it sucked when there is a lot of us uh, on. We can't talk to you then. Sure you can, Patrick. I try to read every single every single message that's put in here. Sometimes it's hard, especially when I get on a tangent and get get a story going. But <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you can talk to me. It's all good. Maybe it's rare. No, no, it ain't rare. It's in limited quantities, but it's not rare. Uh, you'll see what servo. Man, we're gonna have backup servos for backup servos on this thing by the time it's all done. Y'all chip in for a motor and a battery. That's all I need. I mean, I'm, I'm serious. A motor and a battery. And the Goblin gets built. I'm thinking about going ahead and building it because since I do have a 520, I've actually got an extra 520. Uh, it's the one I took off my 450 Pro. And since I do have an extra one, I think I'm going to go ahead and build it because the cyclic servos can go on real easy. Um, I've already got the gyro. I'll stick the gyro on it. The ESC is coming so that I can power the gyro. And I guess, hell, if I have to, I guess I could just wire a couple uh, 3S packs in series. and run. I don't want to do that, but and run it that way. Let's see. Or see. I think I have two or three of those Spectrum servos made with some sort of graphite gear material. It is stronger than nylon. Uh, what I'm worried about is... Even the graphite gears are brittle uh, for cyclic. For the tail, they're absolutely perfect. You know, those graphite gears are fantastic for the tail. Uh, but on a cyclic, I would rather go with metal gear. Uh, just, yeah, just in case. You know, if you have a blade strike, it can, uh, even if it doesn't completely destroy your helicopter, it can still destroy a uh, servo. Um, they don't make much nitro fuel, which is rare in the market. And yeah, yeah, it's kind of rare. You know, if I don't know what you guys have in the Middle East syndicate, uh, but over here we're using a lot of ethanol, which ethanol is basically a corn-based fuel. They ferment corn, and, well, it's pretty much whiskey. I mean, <laughs> quite literally. Uh, but it's been denatured, so if you drink it, you'll die. Hey, Gina. How you doing? I was wondering where you were at. Uh, the battery, I think what they suggest on that is an 1800 milliamp 6S. Uh, I think it can go from 15 to 2200, but I'm kind of worried that a 22 may be a little bit too heavy. But hell, for my flying, pff, yeah, smack hovering. Uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, 6S uh, around the 1800 range. Let's see. I got tons of batteries. Well, if you can put enough of them together to equal 22.2 volts, bring it on, RC. <laughs> hey, it's all good, Syndicate. You know, as long as each of us are patient. I try to be patient with the other dude that, uh, yeah, he just he flat lost it because of the language barrier. And things got lost in communication. And, yeah. But no, you know, I deal with people from all around the world, from all different countries, and yeah, don't worry about the language barrier. I'll, I'll eventually figure it out, eventually. Uh, what size battery? Okay, I already answered that one. Uh, shoot me a PM with your contact info, and I'll have one drop shipped to me. Dude, look at y'all. Look at y'all. So how about a motor? And I'll I'll link you guys to the motor that I'm thinking about. Let me uh, let me go in here. Let's see. Go into my cart. And we'll go ahead and grab that link. And let's go ahead and post it in here. This right here is the motor. You know what? Hang on. Don't click on that. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna do it a different way. <laughs> I know it's kind of cheating. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Wow, that's a thousand kV. This motor should not have a thousand kV. Uh, let's go here. What are you guys saying? Uh, give me just one second, Patrick. And uh, <laughs> I'm basically uh, trying to cheat Bang Good, is what I'm trying to do. Let's see. Referral code. Yeah, I'm going to put a referral code on it. 
Darn right I am. Let's go ahead and search. What? No, oh, it's still loading. There it goes. All right, so get code. I'm trying to impress Banggood so that they will send me the clone of the Goblin 380. And in order to do that, I've got to have more sales that come through RC Help. Uh, right here is the uh, is the link to the motor that I'm looking at, and I'm looking at the black one. But quite honestly, if anybody donates it, uh, you could paint it pink. You know, I, it doesn't matter. I'll still put that sucker on and fly the crap out of it. I hope. <clears throat> Here's my plan, guys, and uh, this is this is 100% truth. The Goblin 380. Ever since Syndicate sent it to me, it has gotten me to want to get back into helicopters. And I want to build this thing. It's going to be built on video. I want to set it up on video, obviously. And I want to get out and I want to fly it. And what I want to shoot for in the beginning is at least getting out there once a week and uh, flying the 380. You know, because the more I fly, the more my fingers get back into that rhythm that I used to be in. And I can get back into the flying that I used to do. But yeah, that link uh, that I just posted on there is the motor that I'm thinking about. It is kind of a clone motor. But if you look at all these other motors from, uh, they've got a Taric Edition. Uh, I can't remember the name of that motor. But it's like 150 bucks. And then there's another one that's like 250 bucks. And then I think Scorpion's got one that's over 300 bucks. Uh, no. I just, I don't see spending that much money on a motor when all I'm going to do is just kind of putt-putt around, you know, especially to begin with. Because, guys, and I got to thinking about this the other day, besides just doing piddly stuff here and there and crashing the crap out of that 450, it has literally been two years since I have flown on a regular basis. Let's see, X Nova, yes, Gina got it, nailed it. Yep, X Nova, uh, they've got a Taric edition. You know, the cheapest one is a hundred and fifty bucks. I just, I have a hard time spending a hundred and fifty bucks on a helicopter kit. <laughs> Let's see, uh, what are helicopters over here in the United States? Runoff, moonshine, white lightning. Well, you could, you know, they're not going to produce any power uh, until you put some nitromethane in it. But yes, that's that's alcohol, you know, it's methanol. Um, actually, methanol is, if any of you guys know anything about distilling uh, liquor, whenever you start distilling and once you get it going through the thumper and you get it going through the coil and you finally get it cooled from a vapor back down into a liquid, the first little bit of liquid that comes off of that mash is methanol and if you drink it you're you're just gonna go blind uh yeah you're gonna wish you were dead because you ain't gonna be able to see but after the methanol is gone then the alcohol comes so yeah let's see who's helena Syndicate, 930 KV. Yeah, the one that I'm looking at is actually 1,000 KV, which means I'm going to have something to spend that $25 gift card on. By the way, he actually he also got a $25 gift card to Heli Direct. Um, man, I may need to get a smaller pinion if I go with a higher KV motor. Yes, and that's another thing I wanted to touch on this one, on the touch on in this live stream. Uh, we are doing a simulator Sunday for those of y'all that are watching. We are doing simulator Sunday every single Sunday, and the best part about it, I can have all the network and computer issues that one could possibly have, and not be able to make it. And simulator Sunday is still going to go on. Uh, Gina is kind of like, well, I'm her sidekick in simulator Sunday. Uh, because I'm just putt putting around and she's over here laying the smack, you know. So, even if I can't set it up, she can set it up. So, Simulator Sundays, guys, Phoenix Flight Simulator updated. It's a 5.5.L, Lincoln, Lima, whatever you want to call it. Uh, update your Phoenix and come join us, you know, every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern, or 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. How 
is what? Uh, hey Patrick, post the link without the www and without the dot com. Uh, we'll see if it'll let you put it through then. YouTube, guys, YouTube has been really janky here lately. Um, remember back a few live streams ago where that dude kept posting hi, 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 hi. It's supposed to automatically block them whenever they do that. Uh, that's called spamming the chat. And it's supposed to automatically block them, and it didn't. It's also letting through uh, some filters that I have, some words that are filtered. Syndicate. Uh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, you know, it, it's, they're getting better, but it's still, it's got a long way to go. Yes, you will die if you drink nitromethane. Um, probably pretty quick and you're going to wish you were dead when that stuff hits your stomach lining. So in the United States, our RC pilots make moonshine and use the first batch for flying. The other batch to relax our nerves. That sounds actually like a really good plan. <laughs> Waste nothing. We're like the American Indians. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like antifreeze. And if anybody doesn't know, antifreeze has uh, what's called ethylene glycol. Not to be confused with propylene glycol. Uh, propylene glycol is what I have in these. Ethylene glycol will actually crystallize in your kidneys. And, yeah. Yes, poison. Bad poison. You'll die. Just yeah, don't do it. Oh, uh, let's see. I know I missed something. Um. <laughs> I know. I know what you meant, don't you? <laughs> I just, I got to give you a hard time. You know, we're over an hour, so all we're doing is just, we're just shooting it right now. You know, uh, basically, I'm trying to get better cyclic servos, uh, trying to make this a member build, uh, get a battery, batteries. If I just get one, I'll just keep recharging that sucker. You know, it'll give me time for my nerves to calm down in between, in between flights. Um, Hey, RC, I don't know if your Phoenix burned up quite as bad as Gina's did. Gina actually took hers apart thinking that, you know, maybe it was just a loose wire. You know, something needs to be resoldered. Nope. Uh, there was black inside there on the board. Uh, something released the magic smoke. So, yeah, I'm thinking hers probably caught fire for a split second. Probably an inverter or something. But, yep, trying to get cyclic, uh, cyclic servos. Don't need them, you know, 100%. I can put these Emacs on there, but I just, I think, uh, I don't know, it's almost like sacrilege uh, putting clone servos or cheap servos on a goblin. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine that NX7 does like to drink the fuel quickly. What are you running at? Aren't you running like a 120 in your NX7? By the way, the NX7 is supposed to run at 90. No, 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 no. They drink methanol, and it's poison. Alcohol, it can be poison. You know, you can have what's called alcohol poisoning, um, which anybody that's went to college mm, you probably know what alcohol poisoning is. Uh, technically, al alcohol poisoning is, well, the hangover. You know, that's an indication that you you poisoned yourself with alcohol. Uh, what is nitro smell like? Not even close to gasoline. Um, it's, I don't know, I can't explain it. <clears throat> oh, that's right, the YS-96. Okay. There was a 50-size helicopter that Gabba had, and he wanted to do a big block conversion on it. And uh, we put the, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure it was the OS-120 or something. And he sent it to me, and I did all the machine work on it. And uh, <laughs> we put that monster engine in that 600-size helicopter. And that thing was an absolute beast. Smells like heaven. Uh, I don't know about that. <clears throat> Let's 
According to her flight videos, hell yeah, uh, no. <laughs> I did hear a saying here a while back, you know, about alcohol, because we're still talking about alcohol. You know, it's not that people like the taste of alcohol, because everybody complains about the taste of alcohol. It's that we like the effects of alcohol. <laughs> Let's see. That's a good question. Does the see Gina and I actually talked about this and I completely brain farted this. She'd already said that she had a YS96 in there, Taric edition at that. And he asked a, a question Does it use the same case as a 91? And that's a good question. So, yeah, but I'm really looking forward to getting this uh, uh, SRX. 1.5 millimeter more stroke. Interesting. Well, because the cost syndicate, you know, the, the cost of the fuel is high. So the retail price is going to be high. But I'm really looking forward to getting the uh, the 380 built and in the air. I'm just, it is driving me nuts. It's sitting in my house to where I see it every single day. And it's just saying, build me. Build me now. <laughs> and now that I got that tail servo, I think I can. I think we can go ahead and go on with the build. And I was uh, kind of touching on this earlier. Because uh, DX9. Do you, did you seriously put, uh, and this is, uh, I can't pronounce your name. Uh, $10,000 for a transmitter, whichever one you want, you know. Uh, I know what Gina's going to say because she absolutely loves her radio, her transmitter. I like the DX9. It's simplistic, uh, does everything I need it to do. Um, you've got the Futaba one. It's got touchscreen and all that. But, yeah, you know, it... Sunny sky. What? I don't know what that is. I did think about um, the V control. Hell y'all. That's what Yuri has, and he absolutely loves it. Not as expensive as Gina's, though. Um, I keep getting sidetracked reading that chat, and that's the problem I have. I don't want to miss anything on the chat because if I do, people will yell at me. Um. <laughs> But I think I can go ahead and build the Goblin 380 since I have the tail servo. Because the tail servo is the hardest servo or the hardest part that I don't have or didn't have to put in the helicopter. Cyclic servos are right there on top. And in fact, to take off, no, you actually have to put the brackets for the cyclic servos on the, uh, the plate, the top plate, before you put the servos in because you put one screw uh, down in them to hold them on. And that's kind of what I said, Syndicate. $10,000. Holy crap. <laughs> I couldn't get to the button fast enough on that one. Uh, yeah, the DX8 G2 is a fantastic radio as well. Uh, throat's just drying out, guys. DX7 is a fantastic uh, transmitter, unless it's the original. No, that was DX7S, yeah. But yeah, uh, what do you guys think? Should I go ahead and start the uh, start the Goblin build without all these parts? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or should I wait? You guys have already said wait until I had the parts, and I'm, I'm starting to accumulate parts, and fortunately... I had to wait for a helicopter to die uh, to become an organ donor in order for it to happen. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know anything about Sunny Sky.
all you guys that are talking about those motors, guys, come over. If you're not signed up on the forum, I think most of you are. Uh, but if you're not signed up on the forum, sign up and uh, we'll chat about it. Seriously. I have a Goblin 380 thread posted in the 450 section. Come over there and post up. And uh, that way you can post links. For some reason, unless you're a moderator on this chat here on YouTube, you cannot post links. I don't understand it, but that's just the way it is. Uh, kind of dumb in my opinion. Gina said she'd go ahead and build it. Yeah. And the only reason I thought about waiting, you know, the battery doesn't matter. Cyclic servos don't matter. Um, the ESC doesn't really matter. I would like to have the motor because you have to basically bolt the motor to the... Yeah. I hear something. And my dog hears something too. Well, one of my dogs. Now he's whining. He thinks my wife's home. Where in the world are they going? Yeah, whatever. Now I gotta get my thing back. Let's see. Totally ready to wait on the right parts. Otherwise, if something goes wrong, uh, you're not going to know if it was your skills being rusty or mismatched hardware. Oh, I'll know. Yeah, if I have a failure, oh, I'll know. <laughs> because I'll move it one way, it'll go another way, and yeah, things just will not work out. I am... Oh, I'm hitting the red now. Why am I hitting the red? Now we're back to yellow. Back to red. And back to green and yellow and red. This makes no sense to me. It's bouncing all over the place on uh, my signal quality. The uh, yeah, the new OBS 18, they've they put a lot of good stuff in 18 and I like it. I like it a lot. <clears throat> Let's see. Are you talking real planes or RC planes, Syndicate? I think it's easier to fly a real plane than it is to fly an RC plane. <laughs> I don't have the dog from Wizard of Oz. Wasn't that his name? Toto? Yeah, I start whining too. Pretty much because dinner hasn't been cooked. <laughs> don't tell her I said that. Oh man, you know, this is going to get kind of political. Uh, but we're far enough into this that it doesn't matter. There was a... I can't remember if it was a senator. Let me see if I can find the post again. <clears throat> Let's see. There it is. Yeah. This dude um, is a politician. He said, women must earn less than men because they are weaker, they are smaller, and they are less intelligent. Okay. To try to put this in nice terms so that it can air on this channel uh my grandfather always said that never mess with the person that brings home half the money ish and controls all the stuff that you get married for yeah that dude is not going to make it as a politician much longer because people are going to go after him in a big way, and I think they should. You know, it's easier to fly a full-scale helicopter than it is to fly a model. I don't know. Just sitting there thinking about it because they don't have heading hold on them tails. Tails on those real ones. I guess hell y'all saw that same one. That, <laughs> yeah, that was bad. Uh, but real helicopters have rate boat uh, tail. If they have any gyro at all, I can't remember. But yeah, that dude, he's, his career's over. 
I'll guarantee it. Ah, well, that's true. Yeah, controls are always the same. Well, and you're flying first-person view on that, too. I don't know why my network's being janky. I think everybody else is getting online. I think we're going to start doing these at about 0400. All right, 206 Jet Ranger. Nice. Yeah. That's like be very leery of sending your food back at a restaurant. You never know what's going to come back out. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, man. It almost makes me want to go out of the studio. And, uh, hell, it makes me want to just tilt that camera down and start building that goblin right here. I know I don't have all my Allen wrenches in here, though. And I don't have any thread locker. I have zero uh, CA. So, there won't be any CA on this one. And I have no green thread lock. Which they say to use green thread lock in some of the places. And I green thread lock likes to get into bearings way too easy. I don't like green thread lock. <clears throat> and then RC, there's a, another way of that. It's... Uh, the wife puts on the night before, as you're going to bed, a nice, hello, a nice big fat roast in the crock pot. That way it's ready for you the next day. Crap, I forgot about that. Yeah, I do need thread locker too. Um, you guys hang on real quick. I gotta go handle something. Ah, sorry about that. <laughs> I just realized uh, <laughs> we went ahead and put all the vegetables in it. And yeah, I forgot it was in the oven. Because our crock pot is not big enough for that roast and all of our vegetables. Oh, what did I miss? Thread locker is your friend, unless you add too much. Then it's your worst freaking enemy. <laughs> But we have, a, we have an article on that that Gina wrote on how to take out bolts that have too much thread locker on them. Let's see. Spit on them, that way they'll rust into place. Uh, syndicate, they have schools, you know. Uh, go to, yeah, just uh, go to school. I would, since you're from the Middle East, I highly would not go to a pilot school in the U.S. Everybody is still on edge around here. Keeping track of all the minute. Ow. Yeah, yeah, Tungsten. Uh, we just had one of my staff members, Steve. Uh, he goes by Smoggy on the site. He just bought a Goblin 700 speed. And there was not a, I think I mentioned this in another live stream, there was not a drop of thread lock 
on that entire helicopter. I gotta go deal with something else. It's really so we're we're over an hour and a half, so yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll be right back. What was that syndicate? <laughs> hang on, hang on. I don't know what they said. <laughs> It's got me wondering now. Let me see if I can do something real quick. Very calm. What? I mean, very calm. Am I? My thing's still. Nope, it's not. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, you know, just like Helly y'all said, you know, anytime you get uh, any kit, it doesn't matter if you got to build it, if you buy it used, or if you buy a brand new. Uh, very calm when Tony goes away. Well, it's kind of. I figured it'd be more exciting. Then you don't have to look at me. <laughs> <clears throat> um, but yeah, guys, I am. I'm just I'm getting stoked about about building this goblin and uh yeah I'm I'm looking forward to it I need to know what that said I really do <clears throat> uh why is my page not working there it is let's go there Oh, you hush. I'm going to actually stop playing that site. Stop it. i make sure you got... Whoa, there it goes again. <laughs> yeah, Jacob uh, took that roast out of the crock pot and put it into a roasting pan because... What? Uh, all the vegetables wouldn't fit in it and I had it in the oven. Uh, that was like an hour and a half, uh, almost two hours ago. Ah. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that here in a little bit, Jacob, and, uh, I'll kind of explain, but yeah, justified. Um, let's see, I always tear down the, what? Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. By the way, uh, Jacob, I'm reading your stuff. <laughs> uh, I always tear down the pre-assembled parts of a kit myself. That's one thing I do not like about a line. A lot of this stuff comes pre-assembled, and just like on the 550 that's, yeah, I, my screen's not up again. Uh, just like on that 550 that's up there on the wall uh the tail comes assembled the head comes assembled and people may not know that you need to tear those things apart clean the oil um, this is no joke clean the oil off of those bolts clean the oil out of the holes because they use machine oil when they're uh, drilling and tapping these things and uh put a thread lock on it and put it all back together on that 550 right there the uh 
what was it the screws to hold the linkage onto the tail blade grips had no thread lock on it it was already put together you know you don't whenever you're building something you don't always tear it completely apart if it's already or already together and you can overlook things and that's what happened on the 550 and i almost flew it with there only being about one to one and a half threads left of that screw that was holding that tail linkage on i don't know how i didn't crash it <clears throat> let's see and Gina also come, uh, you know, I said that she had that one article about too much thread locker and how to get bolts out. Uh, she come up with another one where you get what I call little, oh, it's an ice cube tray, but it looks like about the size of a bluebird egg. Little bitty ice trays for little bitty ice cubes. Uh, but you get one of those and put a little bit of alcohol in each one of the, uh, each one of the trays. And then put your screws in that alcohol. That alcohol will eat away at the oil and give you a nice clean surface. That is, it's an absolutely excellent write-up. And uh, after the fact, I asked her if she could take a picture of it. And she went and took a picture. And you guys can see it. Uh, if you go over to uh, over to the website, click on the articles uh, tab right there on the top left of the form. And you'll see it. Oh, let's see. I have a baby food jar with solvent for cleaning bolts and a pin, pin magnet for pulling them out. Yeah, yeah. Even baby food jars, you know, if you don't have ice cube trays that uh, you can separate with, baby food jars will do just fine. As long as you have a baby. You know, if you have baby food jars and you haven't had a baby for a while, like my youngest is like 15, uh, that may be a little weird. People are going to wonder why you're eating baby food. But if you got a little in, it's fine. <laughs> let's see what was that honestly for real if you are watching this live stream uh, post up in the chat he posted a comment on one of my videos and I would actually like to answer that here in the live stream. This whole, I don't know how people do this whole, you know, smoking and then vaping, and then smoking and then vaping. Mm. My lungs are wondering what in the world is going on. syndicate that i mean that may be something that you could do uh going to, to rc planes you know the thing with planes is though you're always moving you know it's not like a helicopter you can't just stop and hover well you can but that's an advanced feature <laughs> of an airplane uh but yeah you know they're nice they're you know bank and yank is usually the way i fly unless i'm trying to do something where i need the rudder uh Okay, so maybe it's not an actual baby food jar. Well, then what is it? Do I want to know? Can you even post it? If it mm, maybe. You don't do what either, Gina? Did I miss something? Let's see, not trying to change subject, but I've never had an RC plane and really like building kits. Uh, what version of your RC trainer do you recommend? And no, not a trader. I almost look like trainer from here. That screen's a really long ways away, guys. Um, I just like all aspects of the hobby. That's no, wor no worries, uh, fireman. Uh, definitely go with a version 3. And I'm trying to put a new store on the site. Unfortunately, the only thing that I have found that is even remotely close to what I think a good store would be on the site is, I mean, they want like 50 bucks for it. And then it's going to have huge branding. And it's like another 50 bucks to get rid of the branding. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that and we're getting up in like the 70s. Uh, during the day and it's dropping you know into the 20s and 30s at night 
and yeah so that's the wind's been kicking here lately that's getting all these allergens all my uh bradford pears are blooming everything's blooming out here you know it was blooming in february that's just that's wrong and with the blooming comes pollen and so yeah that doesn't help i need to quit i really do need to quit smoking uh, i need to get back onto vaping and uh yeah let's see but yes uh Fireman, definitely go with the version 3. The only reason I have version 1 and 2 even still up there is because people requested that I have version 1 and 2 on the forum. Um, they were they were hitting me up all the time asking me what happened to version 1, what happened to version 2. And the reason they want version 1 is because that's the only build video that I currently have on the uh, YouTube page is for building the version 1. Uh, I haven't done an updated one for how to do like the wing on the uh, version 3 and the version 2 and 3. Well, that's not good. Okay. Well, that was a little weird. What's up with that? My stream just, like, died. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Let me, uh, let me go in and address this issue. See enable radio? No. Try this. See if this works. Wow, it's like showing nothing on there. I'm still showing red. What the crap? All right, so we're uh, having a few issues. It's weird that it's red right there. Yeah, what were we talking about? <laughs> I forgot. It just, all of a sudden, up there on the top, it said, stream uh, completed. No, it hasn't. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, hell yeah, I know exactly what, uh, what jars you're talking about. Oh, yeah, I was talking about the RC Help Trainer. Uh, but, yeah, definitely go with the version 3. Um, I haven't shown how to build a wing, but if you watch the Edge 540 build, you'll know exactly how to build a wing on the uh, on the Edge 540, or on the uh, RC Help Trainer version 3. You know, it's basically one piece, and then you take the other piece, and you fold it around. Uh, yeah, pretty much, Tungsten, yeah. <laughs> Everything just went wrong. Like, just, just that quick, and now it's saying my video output's low. Um, I don't think it'll let me go in and actually change. I'm probably, guys, I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, lower my quality. It won't let me change it. Lower my quality of my video because, let's face it, this is a webcam. So, um, yeah, yeah, it froze. You know, like I said, it said string complete, and I'm like, what the hell? It's it's the, the big network that's beyond uh, my control that is getting completely, you know, covered. What is this? What, what? Oh, okay. Uh, what's this? I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't need to worry about that. I need to worry about this. So, yeah. Um, version 3, yes, go with that. Um, it has inboard servo mounts for the tail feathers. Uh, you're going to need like a coffee stir and some 047 uh, piano wire and then if you can make your own z-bends that would work uh, you can make your control horns out of popsicle sticks that are uh, drilled and then covered or covered in ca and then drilled uh, those work fantastic that's what i use on the edge 540 because they're extremely light and they're free ish <clears throat> let's see rc planes are a hell of a lot cheaper and you can build them yourself once you have the electronics. 
uh, check out some of the DIY builds on my channel. Check out my channel. Look at him trying to steal my members. <laughs> now everybody loves jets. I love jets. Fly planes as well. Started flying over 25 years ago. Right on. Let's see. And when I say building yourself, I'm talking about getting a block of foam and literally cutting the plane out. Yeah, like the uh, blue core. I've tried building with blue core, but you got to put so much bracing in that thing that it's just, it's absolutely ridiculous how much bracing you have to put in blue core. Unless you cover it in fiberglass, um, and then you got to find something that won't eat the blue core. I guess you could put saran wrap and stuff down, but yeah. Let's see, 10.4 downloaded all three versions earlier. I uh, just didn't know which one to build. Yeah, yeah, build, build the version uh, 3.1. I think we're on 3.1. I need to do some other updates. Uh, another thing between the version 1 and version 2 and version 3, uh, version 1 and version 2 have the stock tail of a Telemaster, whereas version 3, I gave the elevator a little bit more authority and the rudder a little bit less authority because the rudder, quite honestly, didn't need that much authority. Hey, Chris. What's up, man? You fly that hippo any, uh, here lately? Hey Syndicate, you've already got the radio, and uh, the uh, those blue uh, servos are really cheap. They're like two bucks a piece, two, two, not ten, two, uh, two dollars a piece. And then you know, get a thousand kV motor around this sixty to sixty to eighty gram range, uh, with a ten by six prop and a twenty two hundred milliamp three S pack, and yeah, you know, you're you're golden. Uh, to build the uh, RC Hub trainer, as long as you can get foam board. You can build them out of Depron, but again, you're going to have to get some carbon fiber bracing. <clears throat> uh, tungsten. Yeah, yeah, and basically, I've been doing this in 720, and once the, once the network just gets oversaturated, which, if you go on down the line, I'm on the Cox Communication Network. Um... But it starts getting completely clogged up. So, yeah, I think I'm going to drop down to 480. It's still going to be a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. But I think I'm going to go ahead and drop it down to 480. That way it just it doesn't affect it as much. The audio will sound the same. And even with the video sitting here pausing every now and then, uh, the audio always comes through nice and smooth. Unless it completes my stream like it did before. So... <clears throat> It's just one of them things living out here in the country. You know, you just gotta gotta kind of deal with it. So, let's see. Just joined chat. Uh, says favorite helicopter to fly, and everyone talking about planes. I know, right? We got way off topic. It was like the first fifteen minutes we were already talking about quads. You know, those, those quads ain't they're not going away. Copy that, Chris. We'll be flying the hippo tomorrow, weather permitting. Yep, uh, fireman, I get all of my foam board. Well, you got to remember, I was, I was actually talking to Syndicate about that on if he can get foam board because uh, he's in the Middle East. Uh, over here, I buy mine at Dollar Tree. You know, I buy it by the box at a time with 50 sheets. And surprisingly, when you have 50 sheets of foam board, you go through 50 sheets of fo uh, foam board really fast. <laughs> Use epoxy resin uh, thinned with actions. Do you just like karate chop it? Logos, man. I don't I haven't seen a logo fly in a long time. Those are they are just some absolute sexy helicopters. I love them. The plastic frames on them are a little weird, but <clears throat> trust me, you won't be taken away. <laughs> screaming to come back <laughs> i don't know have you seen my my production quality uh it's a one-man show here foam board is basically a foam core uh covered in construction paper on both sides it makes it quite rigid all right yeah uh 
Well, that's one thing, David, is whenever you're building a wing of the RC Help Trainer, uh, you uh, you need to peel off that paper in order to uh, be able to make that bend because you're basically bending one piece of foam board around another piece. So it's pretty sharp, but it leaves a beautiful leading edge on that uh, on the wing. Uh, the first time I bought foam board, uh, I actually bought it at Hobby Lobby uh, here in Oklahoma. And that stuff was amazingly heavy. Oh, acetone. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was like, are you karate chopping it? Are you jogging? Or <laughs> what other verbs can I come up with? Uh, why do you need it? To build the RC Help Trainer. Enjoy my range of helis and all have different characteristics. Goblin 570 is fast and agile. Uh, with the Spartan VX1E flybrawlers unit, I'd imagine. So, out of all yours, your 570 is your favorite. I figure you would probably... You, I was thinking you were going to say the Hippo. I really was. You know, uh, Chris, what motor? Do you have the uh, 730 MX? <clears throat> <clears throat> Do you have the 730MX motor in your 550? And uh, that just looks like a rainbow <laughs> on this uh, on this thing. Because it's sitting here going green, yellow, red. Rail green, yellow, red, yellow, green. Arr! It's annoying. Uh, let's see. Syndicate, I don't know if you have foam insulation. Yeah, you can use that here. I just I call it blue core uh, because it's yeah it's uh, the hippo is your favorite. <laughs> what well, is now? I still love that that decal you put on there. It's now a eight hundred DFC. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I would imagine it is a different type of flying. Let's see, use a word inflation. Uh, what is it got this? More masculine color. There's only two. There's baby blue and pink. I don't know where you get masculine out of that. Okay, okay, David. Yeah, cool. I'm pretty sure uh, if you can score it where you want to uh, peel it off and then just take a sponge and soak it with water, uh, it'll loosen it up enough to where you can get it off. Yeah, yeah, that board that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby, you know, like I said, it was extremely heavy. It, it actually made the plane too heavy. But in the crashes, I never once folded a piece. That was the most crash-resistant uh, foam board I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, cool deal, Fireman. I appreciate you uh, Appreciate you coming in, man. And, uh, yeah. It's been fun. It's been two hours is what it's been. It's been fun. Uh, my 50 was one of the last made before the Dominator range. And the Dominator, yeah, okay. Yeah, because the one that I have uh, up here on the wall is the uh, the Dominator. So it's got the 730. That's a lot of motor for a 550. And on a 6S, it just, to me, it felt underpowered. It, it felt like it just it needed more pop. And quite honestly, with the uh, Castle ESC, I may not be seeing full throttle. Tony, get into planes. Oh, I'm into planes. You know, obviously you have the two I designed, uh, which is the uh, RC Help uh, Trainer and the RC Help Edge 540. And then you got the one that Derek uh, designed from the forum, which is a biplane, which you can also download. Uh, he designed it, and he kind of just, he told me what it was. He showed me some pictures and gave me some measurements, and I put it in a PDF form. That way everybody else could have fun with it. And... Uh, 
Edge 540, an extra 260, a Rogue 3D Bipe. I have two MXS uh, 3D planes, um, the Telemaster, the original RC Help Trainer is still somewhere around here uh, with the American flag motif. Uh, and then I have, what do I got up in the rafters? I've got the RC Foam, Fighter, RC Foam Fighters FF-22 which is an absolutely awesome plane when you put dual EDFs on it. Pretty sure it's fun. Fun as a prop jet too, but dual EDFs, come on. <clears throat> but yeah, Syndicate, um, it's, it's because of the fumes, the smoke and everything that comes off the exhaust. I love the smell of it, but the smell doesn't love me at all. Like, at all. Let's see. Well, I think the blue is a little bit more of a masculine color than the pink. Unless you're just a pink kind of guy like Aerosmith. Negative. Now, uh, about the only thing that's pink is a few banners on the website. <laughs> and if you guys are seeing them, guys, help me out. Even viewing them helps out the site. And they're not obtrusive. If you do find an obtrusive, obtrusive ad on the site, you let me know what it is. And I will block it. I don't like obtrusive ads. I don't like ads that autoplay automatically with sound. I have blocked a bunch of those. They had all kinds of them come out of the woodwork uh, over the holidays. Uh, Syndicate, you mean Murphy? Does it work? Yes. Other than me re uh, stealing the Bluetooth module for the icon off of it and stealing the satellite receivers off of it, uh, that helicopter is ready to fly. Nope, doesn't need repairs. It's ready to go. But no, guys, you know, this... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Send it to you. You know how much shipping it'd be on this monster? I'm pretty sure you could buy one for the amount that it would cost me to ship it to you. How had it shipped to me from Dallas, which is like a state away. It was still expensive. Oh yeah. Time for a stogie. Dude, you must not have been on here whenever I first got... I've had some members. They didn't quite like me smoking them on here. They got really, really butthurt. Ooh, look at that. Man, if you can't see that, mm, you need to quit flying because you're going blind. Oh, that sucker is bright. Look at that. I'm telling you guys, I want to build it. I want to build this sucker so bad. And also, if I fire up a cigar in the house, uh, the wife complains. Yeah, no way no. Mm -mm. It always worried me about these, having to spread that thing apart to get it around. Mm. Cute little canopy. Hey, hey, I'm trying. I'm trying to get back into it. What do you think about that cute little canopy, huh? Uh huh? You didn't say anything about it, Gina. <laughs> and that's not little for a 380 size this is not little that's comparing it to a 450 not little <laughs> I want to build it I want to build it I want to build it so bad motor battery ESC's on its way and cheap servos 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, RC. Like, straight up. <laughs> yeah, you should, uh, you should have heard of, uh, you should have heard what they said about me having a drink. I guess there's people out there that are talking a bunch of crap because they say that after, basically, you know, you know that uh, stainless steel coffee mug that I usually drink out of when I'm in the studio. They say that I had that full of beer and that by the end of the videos, I was, get in there, uh, slurring my speech. I ain't slurring because I'm drinking. Trust me, you'll know that slur. Slurring because, well, I'm usually tired. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. If, if you do anything out, it, I've been doing videos the same way since 2011. And if you, if you do if you, anything that is out of the ordinary of what you're usually doing, then people just lose it. You know, you're not supposed to do stuff like that. It's kind of like whenever I put a red hot butcher knife through a lithium polymer battery. Holy crap. You would have thought I killed some kid's puppy or something. And I'm not lying. The emails, they didn't post it, thankfully. They didn't post it in the comments. But the emails that I got on that was just, wow. What are you posting on the forum, Chris? Hmm, 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 hmm. You need one of those decals. Do I want to know? <laughs> ah, that's great tungsten I have one left that's all I got I need to get a hold of Leo I don't know where Leo's been he hasn't been here in the last few but I got one cigar left and the video output is low again so it's probably breaking up and this is the Furetti yeah it's still a Victor Calvo uh, so far the Victor Calvo is like the best cigar that I have found. Let's see. Oh, no, I mean, it's not that, you know. Uh, I disposed of that lipo real good. I don't know if you saw that video, Gina. And you guys are probably getting video breakups like crazy because it's saying video output low and everything's red. Uh, but the audio should still be coming through. Anyway. It was the fact that I'm the guy that teaches people. I'm the guy that I always sit down and explain things in a very controlled manner to so that anybody can understand what I'm trying to help them with. And then I go... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, and it goes back green. Ah... <laughs> I hate this network. I really do, guys. Um, you would love to? I'll find it for you. I'll do that. Rat meow. All right, meow. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, God, that keyboard feels so weird. Let's see. Copy link address. There you go, Gina. Yeah, you got it way before you heard me say, here you go. So, just so you know. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, Alan, Alan, I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you, sir. And even the old 550E, the original 550, is still a great helicopter. They're horribly stable. And I mean horribly in a good way, kind of like bad is good, you know. Unless bad is bad, then bad is good. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, the 550s, are they're fantastic. Uh, Chris, what are you trying to upload, man? Let me know. I'll hook you up. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to scroll that. My bad. Sorry about that. Um. Uh, Syndicate, it wasn't my 230 video. I've never flown a 230. I've flown a 130X. In fact, I've got a 130X hanging up, Red Bull Edition. <clears throat> yeah, it, it cut out. Uh, it basically said live stream complete again because my 
my network is crap. You had to restart? Oh, wow. Sorry about that. I'm trying to figure it out, guys. Um, I'm thinking about doing something really weird, and I'm not too sure. It's just going to cost me a few hundred bucks, but I may go to a different ISP, maybe. The upload speeds are horrible, and that's what I need is upload. Yeah, according to, well, no, because now I'm down to 2669 kilobits per second, and it's green. That's weird. Yeah, I've got 1,099 drop frames. 21%. Wow. I'll get it figured out, guys. Uh, I'm going to lower the resolution on the next one uh, because, well, yeah, <laughs> this. Um, I have a six. <laughs> hey, I did it with a butcher's knife in my hand that I just got done heating on a big old blowtorch. <laughs> uh... Uh, Bob Henry, uh, don't worry, because whenever that helicopter, whenever the goblin was sent to me, he also included a set of Lynx skids. So it does have proper skids. When I first build it and on the first flight, it's going to be on the stock skids. And then I'm going to put the other skids on it. Uh, get Google Internet. Can't get it where I'm at. I wish I could. Gigabit Internet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll get it worked out eventually, maybe. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> it seems to be, you know, every live stream has one thing in common. Something's going to go wrong. It's kind of like Murphy here. Every time I fly it, something goes wrong. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Gina just watched that video. <laughs> hey, I told him, you know, do not try this at home. I am doing this so you don't have to. So, there was my disclaimer. I did put a disclaimer in the front of it. Let's see. Yeah, uh, I'm kind of curious as to my landings, I wouldn't say, are the best in the world. Uh, my helicopter landings are a whole bunch better than my airplane landings. Um, but I want to see how it does with the uh, tricycle, which is pretty much what that goblin is out of the, out of the box. There's a little tricycle. Um, yeah, see, Syndicate said he included Link skids with the goblin. He did. He absolutely did. In fact... I think they're actually in this box. There they are. Ta-da! But yeah. I do like that the Link skids, uh, you can leave them just solid carbon fiber, or you can put the orange, which actually looks kind of a pinkish red on that camera, or you can put the uh, yellow or fluorescent green, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, obviously, <laughs> you know what color I'm going with because, well, mine's yellow. So, or like with the 600, I can't call the goblin mine because the goblin is not mine. Especially if all the members chip in. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, to get the rest of the stuff for it so I can get this thing in the air and start flying more. If you guys had any idea what was going on around my house in my life right now, yeah. Not good. I 
Oh, RC, they'll eventually go out. <laughs> See, if you watch that video I posted, they'll eventually go out. Now, what happens to the grass and the table that it's sitting on and all that? Now, well, those are those are factors that you just have to kind of factor in. But yeah, Gina, it was um, very anticlimactic what happened with that lipo. So I'm going to do another one. I, I'm kind of giving it some time, but I'm going to do another lipo video because... I have batteries that they uh, they need to be destroyed. So why not destroy it and... Okay, what'd you upload? I'm really curious of what you upload uploaded. But mine's not that big. The 800 has a reason. It has a reason to have that, that logo on it. The 380? Not so much. I mean, maybe a picture of a sparrow? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. There ain't nobody on the forum going to know what in the world that means. <laughs> I don't even know where I would put that on this. I'm having a hard time figuring out where I'm going to put the names. I think I'm going to do them in white and put them on the canopy. Uh, basically like the blue uh, blue areas is where I think I want to put them. I might, I might could put them like uh, maybe put Seneca's name right up here. And then all the other donors uh, kind of like down the, down the side or whatever. But everybody that donates uh, to this helicopter, you're going to get your name put on it. Let's see. Um, the syndicate, uh, that really is going to depend on the buyer. You know, it. Yeah. People will pay as much for something as people will pay for it. And it's, with, especially with RC, um, a lot of people are going to hound you to go, uh, let it go real cheap. Other people are going to tell you that it should go real expensive, but they're not the ones that are going to actually buy it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> oh, no worries, Chris. Uh, I've got a plotter out here, so I'll just have you design it and you just uh, send me the file. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. So basically, you have, you had, RC, what everybody else that flies planes wants. You finally had a plane with smoke. I don't see the problem. What is this? Oh. Jacob working his magic. I love it. I love it. Jacob has done an absolutely fantastic job for RC help on the uh, social networking. Oh yeah, Jacob, I got a thing. Uh, it said that I haven't posted to my 900 and some odd members on Facebook in a while to make a post. <laughs> Thought I'd just go ahead and pass that on. Um... You'll add it to the post just put up. Just put up what? I put up with a lot. I really do. <laughs> what am I putting up? And what have you added to the post? Are you sending me the are you sending me the hippo? That would be awesome. Because now I know it's an actual align. <laughs> Now the mic's too low. This is like a very directional mic. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's like it's way too quiet right here. But then you get up here and it gets way well. Let's see, Tony, how I write my name on a canopy with paint. 
uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use my plotter, and that's what Chris was uh, stating, was that, you know, if I have a design, I can send it to him, and he uh, he could cut it out. Uh, I have a plotter uh, as well, and uh, 25, or 0.25 millimeter offset and all that stuff, so I could do pretty fine uh, lettering. And I'm going to cut out stencils to put on the canopy, for everybody that uh, for everybody that donates to the helicopter, I want to cut out a stencil of either their real name or their username. I'm not sure which one I want to do yet. Probably their username because that's what everybody knows them by. And uh, I will add. Oh, okay. Uh, basically, I'll cut it out and then I'll use my airbrush and uh, paint the names on. And then once I got all of the names, once the helicopter is complete, there is no more that can go to it. Uh, once there's you know no more that you can actually put to it, then uh, I'll go ahead and clear coat uh, the helicopter. And Jacob, don't even worry about it, brother. Like I said, you've done an amazing job, and I know how work can be, so no worries there. So. Alright. So. Let's see, F5. No, you haven't added anything yet, okay. No, I'll check it later. I see every post on that form. I really do. All right, get back over here. It's saying the video output is low again, so I'm not going away yet. I'm having too much fun. I do need to eat. I haven't, I haven't eaten anything today, actually. Huh. Anorexic weight loss diet. What? Oh. My aquarium just told me that it has been disconnected from the internet. There's dog. Awesome, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yep. Uh, dog's already... He's going to get his name on a helicopter, that's for sure. Uh, donating the 80 amp. Yep, ESC. I'm going to give it a shot again, guys. I said I would never have another FESC, but I'm going to give it a shot, and we're going to see what it's like. But the only way I can do that is if I have a motor. I need a motor. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not sure what RC's laughing at. You know, squirrel, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Fran, sorry you're late. What are we building? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And then, of course, I got Murphy in the background. I had to move him when I had to run to the oven before I burnt the roast. Let's see. Yeah, it looks good right there. So, yeah. I got Murphy. Murphy. I really do hate that helicopter, but I absolutely love that helicopter. You're only running 120 amp on the Hippo? Really? I figured you'd be running a 160 on that monster. Jack, Goblin 380. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know, dog. I, I, I may have to disagree with you on that one, because... I think you like the X3 more than you like that 450. Oh, it, it damn sure smokes nitro. That's for sure. It can go through a full tank of fuel in, I don't know, 10 minutes. Look at that. Buffering like crazy. What the, what in the world is up with this network? Yep, I am most definitely going to have to uh, lower my resolution on the next one. So, get ready for that, guys. I'm not going to look so good in the next one. Yeah, right. Let's see. Really? 
Yeah, uh, well, Gina, the uh, the hippo is a trekker. You know, it's it's a 800. And he's only running a 120 on that. That's what amazes me. Nah, that is true, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, if you're not smacking that thing around, then you're not hitting the uh, voltage spikes and stuff like that. This is so ridiculous on this network. I am almost just absolutely sick of it. This is crazy. What was that? Alan, Gina, do you like hobby wing ESCs? I can't remember if Gina's ever said if she flies hobby wing. Yeah, that's my problem. I have like no collective management. Uh. Okay, that answers that question. Not only does she have one, she has it on all her helicopters. Yeah, you know, ADD. Hey, uh, squirrel. What was it? I was going to say something about something, and I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Give me something to talk about, guys. Chris, you still haven't added whatever you said to that thread. What's wrong with you? Come on. Keep checking it. <laughs> yeah, see, dog went to Hobby Wing, and I was going to get a Hobby Wing uh, for this one. Um... Uh, and then dog's like, I got an 80 amp, yep. You want to try it? And I was like, hmm, yep. Ah, you can't slow down on throttle. Full collective stick banging. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering that this 80 amp is going to be a little much, uh, a little bit too big for the 380. I haven't actually measured the 380 because my micrometer is out in the uh, in the studio. Let's see. Well, that's true, hell y'all. <laughs> I don't know. Out of this earth flying is more like uh, Tarek. That dude. You want to talk about stick banging. Controlled stick banging. So what I think. You didn't put anything in there. If you're asking what I thought about the, uh, about the hippo, I liked it. I really did. Ah, uh, come on. Come on. Let's see. I keep missing stuff in that chat, and I keep having to find it, because I keep staring at that red bar saying, Video Output Low. Wow, it is, too. I was down at, like, 1,100. You see, now it's saying I'm back up to 33, and it's still showing red. It's probably because it's bouncing all over the place. All right, so lesson learned, uh, lower the video, uh, video quality. So there will not be an HD icon when you're watching this the next time. Syndicate, uh, it's called a uh, pitch gauge. And you use it to set up your collective and your cyclic. I think that's what you're asking. You have a Yep ESC on the Hippo, Chris? 
Ah ouais. I thought you had a. I thought you said. I don't know. I'm hungry and I'm tired. <laughs> if any of you guys were here in the uh, about the you know the first hour, uh, I told everybody what uh, the reason why I am so tired. Uh, staying up until like 9 a.m. and uh, helping my brother-in-law repair his motorcycle because of some very unfortunate incidents that happened. Uh, not here. But yeah, and then getting to bed at nine, waking up at eleven that morning, same like two hours later, and uh, yeah, I'm still not recovered. Uh, can you tell? Um, what is my favorite heli to fly? I, I already answered this, dog. Where were you? Huh? Huh? Where are you at? Um, for casual flying, learning new things, and just all over, all around predictability, the SEV2. Uh, but if it comes down to, you know, just the most stable, the easiest to fly, um, sans headaches, the 600, right there, Murphy. Murphy, it just, it flies, you know, it's rock stable, and yeah. Yeah, you should have recorded it whenever you flew with him last time. Sleep is overrated. Yeah. I used to be that person, you know, I'll sleep when I die. Well, now I want to sleep. So I don't die. Smack 3D with a Goblin 380. Yeah, I'll smack it one time into the ground. Hey, Alan, uh, do you know about our uh, simulator Sundays? If you have the Phoenix Flight Simulator, uh, update it, and we will be flying every Sunday, 7 p.m. Central. And if you're in Arizona, you'll probably be west, yeah, Pacific time. So that'll be five, your time. Let's see. But now we have the uh, Simulator Sunday every Sunday. And uh, this Sunday, Gina. Gina, Gina, Gina. What do you think about doing a auto-rotation uh, Simulator Sunday? What do you think about that? What does everybody else think about that? Try that. You got it, Chris. I do appreciate you coming in. And, uh, yeah, you're going to post a lot more videos of the Hippo. I like watching that one. Those 800 just have this an awesome, awesome sound. Uh, haven't had Phoenix for four years. Why? Come on. Get Phoenix. Come fly with Gina. Gina's the star of the show. I'm just the doofus that stands over in the corner going, I wish I could do that. <laughs> and here's the reason. Uh, let me let me read through these. Uh, oh, I'd be going and finding that friend. Oh, okay. Yeah, if they're mountain time, then that would be 6 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, Chicago, you don't have to have a, a good, com you know, a big gaming computer uh, to do the flight sim because you can go in and you can lower the graphics and uh, get it to work. Uh, Bob, I do have real flight. Unfortunately, I have real flight 6.5. Uh, Gina has 7.5, uh, 
and I can't upgrade to 7.5. They just they flat won't let me do it. You can't get that download anywhere. Uh, now they're on Real Flight X, RFX, or Real Flight Extreme. What are you guys doing to this chat? You guys are killing it. This is fantastic. Let's see. Nope, Alan can't wreck into her. Uh, we have I, I have collisions turned off because. You know, we are, uh, this is for basically the beginners. You know, advanced pilots can come in. That's not a problem. Uh, but it is for beginners. Uh, they don't know all the crash avoidance and stuff like that. Um, so we have we have collisions turned off. Let's see. Oh, Syndicate. It ain't that bad. You have every sim except for Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, like I said, Gina's got 7.5, so if anybody's on 7.5 and wants to fly with Gina, uh, you can hit her up in the uh, uh, simulator section of the forum and just tell her, hey, you ready to get online? You know, as long as you have 7.5. If you have 6.5, 5.5, 4.5, or extreme, it won't work, which is it's ridiculous to you. They want 100 bucks for the upgrade to extreme. No, no, that's why I like Phoenix. Um... Let's see. Are you serious, hell y'all? RFX does not support multiplayer. Well, then I'm surely not going to spend that hundred bucks uh, to update. Then there, no, no. If I can't fly online with people, because I learn more whenever I'm watching people than I do if I'm just flying by myself. No, no, we don't need to buy Tony. You can't buy it, you know. Uh, like I was just saying, you know, if Heli X or if, uh, RFX doesn't have uh, multiplayer, then there's absolutely, there, there's no way I will ever fly on it. And you can't get 7.5. You cannot find 7.5. Oh, I do every now and then, Bob. Uh, I'll... I'll alternate, you know, back and forth. Uh, Real Flight 6.5 and Phoenix. X is a suck. <laughs> well, if anybody has the file for Real Flight 7.5, put it on a server somewhere and I'll download it. Because it's not available. I've been trying to find it and it's not available. I guess I could go ahead and call them and find out if I can get it. Because if you go to the 7.5 upgrade page, it just it says not available. But if I can get 7.5, then we will... Hmm, how can we do that? Gina, how can we do Phoenix and Real Flight at the same time? Hmm. Oh, I'm not worried about that, uh, Bob. You know, my my computer was pretty strong whenever it was built back in 2012, five years ago. Uh, but it's a, a Core i7, 12 gigs of RAM, uh, SSD on a uh, ASUS Extreme motherboard, massive cooling. Lots of cooling, yeah. So yeah, I, I'm not worried about uh, PC f uh, performance. Bring it on. Uh, no, RC, no, it's not. Not for me. Because the only thing I I don't hear the crunch. I hear ching 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 ching. All the money coming out of my pocket. But yeah, just with RFX not having uh, online multiplayer, I thought it did. And if it doesn't, that's horrible.
Uh, yeah, Syndicate. You know, it's it's like playing a video game, but don't treat it as a video game. You have as many resets as you want. Trust me, I have crashed. Prob I'm probably in the billions, billions with a B, bravo, of dollars worth of aircraft in the simulators. Yep, you sure can. Uh, if you get real flight, it'll come with the uh, interlink, interlink uh, transmitter, and you can use that. You just take it from computer to computer. David, I know what you mean, man. I appreciate you coming in. It's been awesome. Thank you, sir. We will see you in the next one. Yeah, not me. Not me. I'm just a poor old broke redneck. Well, hell y'all, that almost makes me want to buy it just to see if my computer will run it good. <laughs> But for a hundred dollar upgrade, no, uh uh. not if you have a tractor and a box blade. <laughs> But no, guys, uh, Simulator Sunday, you guys got to come join us, because I don't know about Gina, but I had an absolute blast uh, last Sunday, and let me get this around here, but yeah, I had an absolute blast last Sunday, even though I didn't fly, I flew one time, and I was actually shooting a live stream uh, during that, and shooting the live stream, well, it's either they watch people that can actually fly, which is uh, Gina and Powerdyne. Uh, Syndicate was doing really good too. Or you can watch me fly. Uh, me who has forgotten everything. Yeah, nobody wants to watch me fly. So I just sat back and went through everybody, uh, letting everybody see something. So. Seriously, the flyboard? Now that's not a smart move right there. I think Gina said she's actually got one of the early, uh, one of the uh, uh, other Sims too. Can't remember which one. Let's get that goblin together. What do you guys say? Let me ask you this: Whenever we build the goblin, should we should we build the goblin in like a video series? where I cut a lot of stuff out or should I go ahead and do a live stream and do a live stream the entire time I'm building it which will be exceptionally boring unless you're just into uh, into doing that who doesn't like funnel syndicate I love funnels mmm funnel cake mmm Cool deal, Tungsten. Well, I appreciate you coming in. Is there anybody still in here that told me to pee? I told you guys that I, I would forget. I flat forget. I'm going to have to go through the chat. Find out who said to uh, send them a message. Accuracy, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Gina and I were talking about the accuracy. And, uh, huh, it's not for beginners. You got to go in and uh, basically build your model in the sim. Nah, you did fine, Syndicate. Now you need to grab that 380 of yours and take it outside and do it that way. Do it. Do it. Just do videos. Okay. I can do that. Maybe. I'm having a hard time even getting out to the studio. 
Oh, I will syndicate. Don't worry about that. It's going to be hard to figure out what I want to put in and what I want to take out, though. Even though this is a uh, one of the lowest part count helicopters out there, there's still a lot of freaking parts. I'm guessing, you know, uh, from start to finish in real time, it's going to be probably a three-hour build. What else is needed for the Goblin? Uh, oh yeah, you came, you came in a little bit late. Um, here, here's a story on the Goblin for anybody that's watching. Uh, I need cyclic servos because I have my old Align 450S CV2 and I crashed the crap out of it and I broke one of the servo arms on one of the servos, but they're Emacs ES09MD servos. I really don't want to put Emacs servos on a goblin. I mean, it, it just it, it's almost sacrilege uh, to put Emacs servos on a goblin. Uh, so I need cyclic servos, and I've got a DS520 Align tail servo, and I can go ahead and put that on, which is a decent servo, but they're getting old, and whenever they get old, the pots get dirty, and they just flat stop working. Uh, so I'd kind of like to get a tail servo, but that's not a 100% needed item. Neither is the... Uh, uh, cyclic servos but i would like to get some uh, good cyclic servos uh and i definitely need a motor i need a motor for the uh, goblin 380 and there is one that's like 55 bucks over on banggood i posted a link to it uh here here i'll post a link to it again yep yeah uh, there's a link to that motor uh, that I was looking at. It's a little higher KV, so I know what to spend the $25 gift card on over on Heli Direct because me and Heli Direct don't get along that well. Uh, because if I do the motor that I just linked to, that one is a 1,000 KV motor. And uh, I'll have to go down on my pinion. Otherwise, the head speed will be too high. What says unavailable? Oh, yeah, the 7.5. Yeah, I have looked everywhere to try to get that 7.5 download, and I can't I can't find it. And I was kidding about you guys giving me a link uh, to a file, because I would still need the, uh, the code to actually activate it. And no. Let's see. Need some room to fly your goblin. You live in the desert. There's nothing but room out there. Go fly. Go fly. Actually, there is a fly bar uh, on a real helicopter, and it's about, oh, about that long. And all it is is a counterweight on some of them. Let's see. RC Flight Seeker, I'm way ahead of you, man. Uh, I actually started this up. I just haven't advertised it uh, very much. Let me go in here. There you go. That right there is a page uh, that I actually set up on the forum. And if you go to the main forum page, uh, which if you just go to rchelp.com, uh, over on the right, you'll see a little progress bar. And I have it set right now at $300. Now, the reason I have it set at $300 is because that gets me all three cyclic servos, uh, the tail servo, the motor, the Hobby Wing ESC, uh, and the batteries. You know, that's every single thing that I need to put this thing in the air. <clears throat> and like I said, for anybody that's just joining us, anybody that donates, uh, Syndicate, he's already got his place in here, and Dog, uh, he's shipping out a Yep ESC, which I'm still, I'm really leery about using that Yep ESC. I just, I have not had luck with the, uh, the YEP, Yep ESCs. And I don't know if I'm going to like this one, but I'm going to give it a shot. I am going to give it a fair shot. 
to see how it goes. I, I'm kind of worried that it's going to be too big because it's an 80 amp yep, ESC and all I need is a 60. There you go. Go fly with Gina. She's got a huge field. I love that field she flies on. If none of you guys know what field she flies on, then you haven't went and watched her videos like I told everybody to go do. But yeah, that donation page is uh, is set up just for the Goblin. And any money that uh, does come in uh, will go to the Goblin. And any money that goes over will still go to the Goblin. I'm not sure what exactly I'll get for. Probably extra blades and main shafts and everything. But I don't foresee it going over. Because right now, um, I don't know if I can link all these things. Let me... Dun, 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 dun. Let me just show you guys the parts that I'm looking for. The first part that I'm going to put up is going to be the uh, new attachment. Oh, okay. Uh, the first part that I'm going to put up is going to be the cyclic servos. I got to get my link real quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to cheat bang good here. You know. Here's the cyclic servos right here. And then we've got the tail servo that I'm looking at. Oh, wrong window. Oh, crap. No, that was the right window. I'm trying to get this tail servo up. All right, here's the tail servo. You have a 100 amp ESC on yours? Holy crap. All right, there's the tail servo. I've already posted a link to the motor. Uh, if you just look up a few uh, right, up, right up here where that little three dots are flashing. Um, then you got the ESC. Let me grab the link on this one. La, 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 la. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Go away. And I haven't pinpointed a battery that I like yet. Well, I know which ones I like. You know, like, uh, yeah, the good ones. Um, Gina, you need to talk to Charity RC and tell them to uh, get their website back up. And here is the ESC. Let's see. My stomach is telling me I'm hungry. All right. What did you say, RC? Uh, that one goes through PayPal. And obviously PayPal is going to, uh, they're going to take out their cut. I do have another one, which is paypal.me forward slash RC help, no hyphen. Uh, that's just another little thing that PayPal has to where you can get a custom link. Um, but again, they're going to take their cut. One way or another, you know, it's either uh, the sender uh, pays for it or the receiver pays for it. One or the other. Um, it used to be that you could send uh, funds to friends or whatnot and it wouldn't charge any fees whatsoever but everybody was taking advantage of that and i think they got rid of it i don't know it's been so long since i've done anything uh as far as that kind of stuff on paypal let's see super chat and yes even super chat it takes out a chunk i think it actually takes out a bigger chunk than paypal Yes. I'm right here. I, I haven't went anywhere. I'm still here. Everything's shown in the red, so we're probably about to get kicked off of here, but you know how it is. I don't think 50 bucks would buy the wires <laughs> for a Scorpion motor. I've got a Scorpion that goes into that 450 SEV2. And I like Scorpion. They're awesome. They look fantastic. 
and the gold would actually almost match. But on a Scorpion motor, those are like 120 bucks on the low end Scorpion motors. And right now, you know, uh, I haven't talked much about my personal life uh, on this channel or anywhere else, and I'm not going to. Uh, but let's just say things are tight, okay? I'm trying to get into something else uh, that I've been wanting to get into for years. And it will help a buddy of mine's website more than it will help mine. But I want to get into it because, well, I've always wanted to get into it. Uh, and I'm having a, I'm having a hard time coming up with that money. And I know that it'll be very lucrative once I do get into it, which is why I'm kind of pushing it. But yeah, I really do wish that I could get a uh, a goblin. Scorpion's not that expensive. Hundred and nine bucks. Yeah, see the hundred and nine bucks. That's still that's fifty bucks more uh, than the other motor that I linked to. Um, yeah, yeah, like Gina said, you know she loves them, and I I like them. You know they're absolutely fantastic motors. Uh, I've listened to a lot of what George has to say, which is the owner of Scorpion, and yeah, you know it's they're fantastic. Here's the problem: I can't afford right now the fifty five dollar motor I linked to. And this one is even more than that. This one's another almost 60 bucks. Things are tight, guys. Things are real tight. If you had any clue huh, how tight things were around here, yeah. You'd wonder why in the world I'm still in this hobby. And I'm still in it because I love this hobby and I love my website. And that light is really bright. It doesn't look very bright on the camera, but it's really bright. What did Randy upload? Must have been a sunset picture. Nope, not a moon picture. Yeah, if you see any pictures by RDS OK and it says Artie Stafford, that's him. That's what I'm talking about. He posted in the lounge. I want to make him his own forum section. <laughs> Randy's photography thread or forum or whatever. Because that dude, he loves to take pictures. And he takes really good pictures. And all my bars are still in the rig. This video's got to be jumpy as hell. But I'll tell you what, guys. You guys are killing it. You know, you guys had that chat blowing up. <clears throat> hey, I've got a, uh, I've got a brushless DeWalt drill. I think it's got some torque. I wonder if I can fit a 730 or an MX 730 in the uh, in the 380. <laughs> yeah.
Yep. You know, I was hoping uh, that the price would come down on 7.5 because 7.5 was even a $100 upgrade, uh, if I remember right. I think they dropped it down to like forty nine ninety five or something. And then when I went to go get it, no longer available. I'd really like to get 7.5. I really would. But I think I'm going to... I think I'm gonna have to do something that I really don't want to in order to get it, and not steal it either. I'm not. I'm not gonna steal it. Oh no! I'm at a Mountain Dew. That's no bueno. Oh, I'm it's Mountain Dew, not beer. Don't let anybody go losing your minds. So whenever I get this Goblin helicopter all built up, got everything in it, so it's reliable-ish. Still an RC helicopter. <laughs> it's not going to be that reliable. But get everything going. Who all on here is going to push me to fly at least once a week? I don't know what y'all's video is, but my video is way behind. Like, wow, way behind. RC, I appreciate you coming in. It has been fun. Always. And I'm thinking, don't tell anybody this. I'm thinking about doing a short live stream about every day. What do y'all think about that? <laughs> Annotations? No. Oh. That was kind of loud. I think her husband's drugging her. <laughs> yeah, it's midnight for Gina, too. I don't know how she does that. I really don't. Uh, but yeah, RC, appreciate you coming in. It's been fantastic. Fran, same to you. Appreciate it. Yeah, see, even on my other one, it's like way behind. So it's, uh, yeah, YouTube is doing uh, packet stacking. To try to keep the video going and it's extremely annoying so pretty sure that wasn't it no yeah but yeah uh so youtube's doing packet stacking and it's uh <laughs> the lag on this thing is ridiculous right now I know you will, Gina. I know you will. I need to be pushed. You know, what I need is I need people around here that fly. More than once a week. Jacob, you live here. You know what the wind's like here, especially coming into springtime. You're lucky to keep a car on the ground with this wind we've been having. 
I didn't even know if you were still on here, man. It's kind of late. If I lived near you, I'd be flying every day. Well, yeah, at your field. Here's the problem, and I, I've said this in numerous videos, and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen, you know, heard me say in some of the videos that I have a uh, what's called a swirling wind, and what that is is behind me I have trees, and then I have my house, and in front of me I have trees. And what happens most of the time, we're in Oklahoma, south wind, and it's coming over the trees, swirling, hitting the house, and then swirling more, and I usually fly in the backyard. I'm start, starting to fly in the front yard. But that swirling wind, it'll push a helicopter into the dirt. It'll do it in a hurry. So flying in straight line winds, just winds coming across, that's easy. You know, you can just put a tilt on it, and you know what the wind's going to do. When you have that swirling crap, you don't know if you're going to go up, down, left, right, forward, back, or into the ground. Wait, what's an awesome idea? Uh, Gina, the if, if I do a live stream every single day... It's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be like this. It's not going to be a three-hour stream. You know, it might be 20 minutes, maybe 30, you know, just to kind of catch people up. Because I have fallen so far behind here lately that it's, yeah, there, there's a video coming out. Uh, and Gina, you know all about it. Uh, but there's a video coming out 8 a.m. tomorrow uh, to kind of explain why and where I've been uh as far as the lack of videos goes. You're tough. <laughs> Jacob, what's an awesome idea? Like I said, the lag on this thing, guys, is ridiculously long. You know, it's... Well, let me just... Uh, let's just see. All right, 2307. I want to see just what the lag is right now. And no, this is not a timer. I'm going to do this in minutes because I'm pretty sure it's a couple minutes behind. Usually it's about tornado helicopter. <laughs> um, only if it's yours. These things are a handful when you get, you know, swirling winds or gusty winds. Straight line winds, not so bad. Swirling and gusty, absolutely horrible. Well, Syndicate, get your butt down to Florida. She flies all the time. And according to AMA rules, she can't fly anywhere near where she works. Without authorization. Yeah. I don't know if I missed it or what. I probably did. Yes, I can get rid of that notification now. Yeah, if anybody wonders what that little bell is on the bottom right-hand corner of RC Help, uh, it's basically a notification system uh, for Google Chrome, and it'll work in uh, Safari and Firefox uh, and some others. But, um, yeah, it's a notification icon, kind of like you get from YouTube and Facebook and stuff like that. short live stream yeah see i mean the yeah the lag on this thing is just ridiculous yeah i'm pretty sure i missed it either that or the lag's a lot worse than i thought it was oh, oh nope all right 2307 is 2309 now. 
So it's over a two minute delay right now uh, because of YouTube doing the whole packet stacking thing. Uh, Syndicate, I've seen Burt Cameron do lots of pyro flips. Two minutes, yeah. Yep, yeah, because you guys can see the chat. You guys know when you put stuff in and you see it, yeah. It's, yeah, like I said, packet stacking. Almost three, yeah. With like Superman. But yeah, you know, I thought about doing the short live streams. Here's the problem. Right now, I'm having a hard time finding stuff in my own page on YouTube. If we do one every single day, holy cow. <laughs> so, but yeah, looks like everything's kind of toning down. Uh, all of our watches are going away. Like I said, uh, anybody still on here, anybody that donates uh, to this goblin is, first of all, they're going to get their name on the goblin. Um... I'm going to be making a user group uh, on the website that you guys are going to go in. and I mean, it's going to be just like the 600. Uh, you guys are going to have a user group, and you have your own section and all of that. Unfortunately, all the members that, uh, most of the members that were involved in the uh, 600 are no longer with RC Help. And, uh, you know, like I say, I feel bad that I can't fly that helicopter. There has been so much time and money put into that helicopter, and it's just, it's absolutely horrible that I can't fly it. Also hit the simulator every night. Yeah. I do not. I need to, but I do not. Here lately, it's just been about pounding out on this forum. Trying to get the forum going and get everything the way I want it. And it's still not there yet. I'm still working on the forum. Uh, but it's getting close. It's getting really close, guys. So, guys, like I said, if you want to donate to the Goblin, uh, you can come over to the forum and click on that donate button at the top of the page. Uh, or the one that's in the right hand sidebar and it would be greatly appreciated again cyclic servos uh, tail servo I have the tail servo, but yeah, I'd rather keep it a match set um, and the uh, uh, ESC which uh, Dog is sending me an 80 amp, but I'm kind of thinking it's too big. You know, I'll find out uh, whenever I get it and uh, The motor yeah the motor and a battery so those are the things I need for it and uh, if any of you guys can help out, it'll be greatly appreciated. And this would be the RC Help Mini Heli. So, guys, I'm going to have to get off here because this lag is getting ridiculous. Uh, the packet stacking is wow. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and get off here. And I am going to... Uh, the lag on your lag has lag. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh my god I can't remember the dude's name I'll pimp my ride <laughs> that's what that reminded me of so guys questions comments suggestions post them in the comment section below and uh, as always I can't thank you guys enough three minutes and 15 or yeah three hours and 15 minutes absolutely fantastic you guys have killed it today that chat has been the most active that I've seen it in a very long time so guys thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys in the next live stream if I can figure out where all my buttons are. <laughs>